Okay, I just went live, so it just if you want to know. <laughs> what am I going to call this? Uh, Patreon? <laughs> uh, maybe El Manco Patreon Skyblocks. Yeah, I think I will also stream, but not with webcam. Yeah. Should I? Ah, oh, man. I... I think I'm gonna hop off and get something to eat. Yeah, maybe I should move over to a stream a streaming channel. I guess I'll change the title to this. That was fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I just private voice chat? Just kind of, this is. Did I misspell Patreon? No, no. All these no. people wearing full diamond sets obviously haven't fell, fallen into the void no. enough. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I, uh... Where are you guys meeting up? Hello. Uh... Uh... My inventory is way too full. I need to like drop it off. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Your volume oh, is super right. low. Can I super quiet. up you up? This is very quiet, Greg. Is it good now? Yeah, it's much better. Yeah. Yeah, another is the spawn. Storage still where it used to be? No. Um, there's a storage pistol. We have a new Maybe storage, here. Greg. Okay. You, you, here is stuff. Here is boots and food then, and the purpose. Yeah, but... Everything you need to survive. Like, Elga, you Wait. did. You saw where my inventory. It's full. Yeah. Where did you it? Where do I go? Yeah, but what Problem happened? The provider. Um, How do you stuff? even add a fucking camera Sorry. to OBS? XCOM, did you lock in and are you... Yeah, next to some portal. Yeah, go no, just through a portal. If you go southwest, Grohik, um, that's where main storage is. Okay, you're here. Uh, I can see you. Uh, there's, oh, there's stuff here in the chest, so... Oh, nice. Thank you. Bucket of milk. <laughs> yeah, it was just if you get Oh poisoned. no, that is annoying. Oh no. Oh, I hate 15. Oh, <laughs> drives oh. me. When you but tab, it's... tab to in, uh, open your inventory and you press tab, it should close. But instead of tabbing to close, it tabs into that book. <laughs> so you can't tab to close. You have to, have to press escape. That's so yeah. annoying. I had to close the inventory. Uh, I too. <laughs> so how did you guys manage to do this? It's like I'm seeing, seeing two siblings ex come and jaw skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, there are, there are plenty more of these shulkers. <laughs> I spent the entire day moving thousands of these guys across the nether. But they don't have a name time. Yeah, they, they do. They do? Oh, you can't see it? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Hex! That's been there for almost one like year. Yeah, that was our, that's our shulker transportation system. So that they appear up at that set soul sand platform and get picked up by minecarts. Hey Fred. The fifteen GUI. Hmm? Oh boy, someone needs to make a mod for this. I just like that this new putting holes is, on the floor it takes like time. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, it's an instant. Mm -hmm. The camera like moves. It doesn't teleport. So this is the shulker transport? No, this is some parkour thing. I'm just yeah, this is some random the, the tour has not to started start. yet. Like, oh, I want to do it. Mm -hmm. It used to be possible. <laughs> it used to be possible. Yeah, I, I remember doing it. 
But how can you do it? Like this. Boom. Park all beaten. <laughs> but even then you can't do it. No one higher. I you enter pearling act just? But how are you supposed to do this? <laughs> this, this is, is not possible. <laughs> it's not possible anyway. Yeah. No, Stop it's not possible. Someone broke in. Stop safety. <laughs> but how was this possible? No, it's oh, not. Damn it, I have fake stick on. <laughs> yeah, XCOM, I don't get it. How can you get here? Yeah. Hacked. I'm stuck again. I mean, there is this uh, mod where you can climb against walls and whatnot. Maybe that uh, mod? Ah, okay. I, I think Sully has that mod. The that yeah. version of the game, the one where the... What is it called? Terraforma Punk had it. So XCOM, are you alive? Nope. Uh, whenever you guys want to start the server tool, I guess I'll start it. I'm live by now. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'll start. Go live. Patreon speedrun? Of course, Tess will. Do you need ender pearls? No, I don't think so. Except if you get stuck somewhere. I mean, there's not many places to get stuck except for the void. Don't get stuck in the I void. I should empty my inventory and like not use oh. all of these stuff for you. Yeah. But, like I should give them back. Mm. Just realized my sound settings are broke. Yeah, I hope my sound is okay. I've been, yeah, doing test streams, two of them and both times there was no sound for me. My viewers just uh, can't hear you. Oof. <laughs> oh. This test streams were so good though. Yeah, you you just <laughs> watch the what or I w watched a little bit live and then I tapped through the what day after. <laughs> through Joe, the what silence. Are you doing? Yeah. He's having fun, let him. There we go. I'm live and everything is working. Sorry. Feels like such a Skyblock noob wearing full diamond armor now. Yeah. <laughs> you stop it after a while because you fall so often into the void and lose all your stuff. And you no armor can protect you from the void. Yeah. That's True. sad. <laughs> when we fought oh. the Ender Dragon, I didn't have any armor. And people kept like telling me off for not having armor. <laughs> like like the first few days, I everyone wore armor except me. Okay. Um, you're wrong. I didn't have armor yet. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, so I was thinking. Oh, Sky King just left when I was going to talk about it. The. Oh yeah, no, sorry, my thank you, thank you. connection's somehow quite bad today. Hey guys. Okay. Um, so you, will you manage to log back on, Sky? Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Don't have my trident anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because tridents are so useful in Skyblock. Yeah, yeah, I had the best trident. And then, uh, it even had, uh, how is it called, the the one where it comes back to you? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, then I threw it into the void and it was just gone and I was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a Triton farm now. And we have a plan someday to try to kill the dragon with Tritons. Wasn't that a plan? Oh, yeah, we got Riptide Tritons, but... um. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's been, I think, I think that's been, I mean, they killed the dragon so many times, they spawned like all of the end gates. <laughs> so there's no point killing the dragon anymore. Yeah. The one we needed is found like almost the last. So... Make it drop a ender dragon head. You can farm it. Make it drop a lightra. 
So I was nah, thinking I would, we boring. should just start by going to the creeper farm and uh, the TNT thingy. Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, using the new piston bolt. bolt. Yeah. Glad to see someone use oh. the tunnel design I discovered. Someone asked uh, what the limitation is beside the light rays. Um, okay, so this uh, server is quite mounted. Um, we have auto crafting tables and movable tile entities and dispensers that dispense things. And we have also a lot of special rules um, to get things we don't uh, can't get in the uh, in sky blocks like sand and uh, other things. But we don't have a light dress. We don't have diamonds. Gas terrace melt into quartz. Yeah, we have quartz uh, from gas. And uh, so I've been playing here uh, so much that I can't always remember which is vanilla and which is not. <laughs> so. Oh man, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a bit confusing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm such a noob. And... What? <laughs> Fell out of the world. Yeah. How did they die in the piston ball? Another one bites the dust. Did they die in the piston ball? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, you were standing in the piston ball for whatever reason. No. Okay. Wait, I thought these piston balls were safe. Yeah. It, they are safe. First death. Hi, Sky. Sky rising. <laughs> the sky and sky here. Okay, so um, this way. Follow, Follow me. You. Yeah. Okay. But these uh, piston bolts were uh, made by an automatic machine. Oh, okay. So not handmade. Yeah, these I I made the piston bolts. I'm somehow I became the piston bolt guy on the server. <laughs> um, and for the longer yeah. ones, everything above about two hundred blocks, you can just use a machine, which makes which is fully automatic and built because we have movable tile entities and dispensers being able to place blocks. And that makes it really easy to make really long piston bolts just over the void. So here oh, we wow. have the creeper farm and yeah, I see it's running. <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> the... Oh no, not the bats! Yeah. Bats. <laughs> we could just farm bats. Helia, there are any, any big axes? Yeah, no. Uh, I just ma made boots um, last night because they, we were totally out of equipment. I um, might have some. Uh, so you can just. Do we have any sand? Um, are we out of sand? Gonna... Well, not out of sand, we just don't have any with, with us. Uh, I don't have any sand on me. Oh, yes, turn the farm on. Uh, are you in storage, Jorge? Uh, yeah, I am. So, can you bring some sand? So cool. <laughs> when it falls, I just saw. Yeah, I could try turning the sand farm on, but I think everyone's FPS would go down to like zero. Um, there's a full capacity, there's like a billion entities um, in there. Can you... That's a question. Is the creeper farm built wrong? Because like, all the trapdoors should be the other way, right? What do you mean? <laughs> like, not all the creepers are shifted off because the trapdoors don't prevent them from moving to the side, but to the other direction. I don't actually know who built this. Uh, for, me, me it look, for me, it looks like the, the shift, shifting the side. Yeah, it's because yeah, shifting them um, in, a, in a sequence rather than all at the same time. I can see that. I never actually noticed that because, like, yeah, so I don't with this setup, don't it's possible that they stand them. on the edge and don't get shifted off. Yeah. If they're standing between two blocks. But it works, and we get a lot. I guess it does, yeah. 
Oh, gunpowder? Oh, yeah, nice. Good yeah. enough. But <laughs> it could be a lot more efficient, is what they're saying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there random slime blocks here? Mm. Maybe somebody was. Uh, oh, there's quit in there. You know we will touch everything you guys do, right? Look at all those hopper minecarts. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no yeah. So mm. <laughs> um, Cupid, I have you... a system that could use like a third of the hopper minecarts of this. Cupid. Yeah, this is the one my tileable TNT crafter. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should we start by explaining the sand farm? The, the big tower here on its side. Oh yes, the, yeah. the laggy sand tower. <laughs> oh, right on top of the tower, one on trader just spawned. Oh, really? Wait, are you serious? <laughs> oh yeah. my god! All the way they up. They always just pick the worst spaces to spawn. Yeah. And this tower just in the middle of main storage on the top. Yeah. Oh no, if it falls in, then it'll break the crafters. <laughs> Just that guy with his two llamas there, man. <laughs> what are you doing here? This is a construction site. Mm. Yeah, here it is. So, uh, the sand farm works. Um, maybe you can explain how it works. Um, yeah. We have a sand... So we have a column of cobblestone that gets generated um, by source blocks in an adjacent column which flow into the column of water. And the advantage of this is that when we place the anvil at the very top, it plows through the entire column and we time it so that just as the cobblestone turns into sand, it gets yanked out from underneath the anvil by sticky pistons on either side. And so a single anvil will just continuously generate sand all the way down the column. Okay. And then the cobblestone will generate back on um over the top. And then you can send another anvil. So you can have multiple anvils plowing through the column at the same time. And it gets up to 150,000 sand per hour just with one of these towers. Yeah, if you That's pretty cool. But that's the mechanic where the anvil drops on the cobblestone uh, yeah. or gravel. Uh, when the anvil drops onto cobblestone, it makes turns the cobblestone into sand. And like when you think about it, yeah, it's a, it's a bit weird. But that's just the way that we have it. So if you can see the farm on top by spectator or free cam. Yeah. We can maybe show it how it works. Sure. Uh, Ninja Pearl. Oh, you started it. Did somebody turn it on? I mean, free cut. Yes. Uh, it's on, yes. Hey, ho. Hey. 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 So, an animal should. Drop. <laughs> Reggae, we're currently doing a tour on the Skycra uh, Skyblock server, if you want to join. Ah, oh, neat. Okay, I have some sand now, I can start up the TNT crafters. Uh, did you turn on the sand farm? Um, the sand farm is on, so if you there are believe no it there, it's, it's on. animals coming down, so... Are there? No. No, There's no broken. animals. Is it broken? <laughs> Somebody broke it. Oh, there's something uh, pushed out at the top here, I think. Uh, <laughs> the wandering trainer <laughs> fell off. <laughs> yes. yes Sky Rising is pushing, pushing in. The llama's down. But yeah, oh, it's so cool to see it fall through and turn to sand, but... <laughs> yeah, there it no, goes. Yeah, there it goes. Two anvils. Uh, Wait, why does it do, do two anvils? Or is this just, just a, a... It's a client, client glitch. So there's only one anvil with the client thing, too. Where is the anvil? I can't find it. 
Oh, ah, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. So okay. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cute. immediately turning into co cobblestone as well. Uh, this produces uh, 150k cent per hour. <laughs> nice. More than do we need. It's great because you could build like, you can imagine building like hundreds of these towers next to each other. You can get so much sand. It's insane. Yeah, I'm breaking That's probably game. why it's a bit overpowered, to be honest. Mm. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh man, I I have the um resource pack where you can see the observers when they're firing. Yeah. You can just see them <laughs> trickling down the tower. Like a um a light show. Oh they even fish that just spawn in the water. Yeah, yeah that's always a problem. We managed, somehow he managed to build it exactly in the middle of a river biome. <laughs> <laughs> no way. So you, yeah, with a squid in the water column. Yeah. <laughs> I D mean, it doesn't you, affect the rates. <laughs> didn't you put in like a sorter for the fish? To get yeah, the I, put a, I put a fish sorter specifically here to avoid <laughs> the fish. Mm. Imagine the squid be dying in there and turning it into black sand or something like that. <laughs> yeah, the um, TNT <laughs> craft cool. is running. Okay, yeah, now the first animal is also right at the bottom. <laughs> Ah, uh, for, for soul sand, we need fire. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when the squid already dies. So the sand goes yeah. straight into the TNT maker, or do we... Do ah, we the collect sand goes the sand up. also? Does the sand go up, the anvils get sorted out, and then gets yeah. dropped back on? Ah, okay. Yeah. I mean, it would be possible to launch the anvils into an elevator and then send them straight back up to the top. Yeah, I'll sort them. Anyway. Yeah. There's, there's, just there's some issues to... here. You guys should probably look into this. This is going to start lagging the server. Some of the sand doesn't make it. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? There is a, uh, there is a pile up here. Uh, right next to you. Yeah. No, no, no. In the circular. Ah, okay. Wait, where's the pilot? Uh, near the scaffolding. Yeah, right after the crafters. It doesn't seem to speed up enough once it goes around the turn. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, something... Uh, I think it's the, In the these two chests I here. Think. Is that yeah, there is one chest? Yeah, it's only one chest, exactly. Yeah, it's not on the ice. So, yeah. Yeah, it's it's more than an inventory full of sand already. Probably yeah. needs two chests. Yeah, you can't use a chest there because it actually has to pick up on that spot. But you can use an uh, ender chest or so. Right, if you place a chest on top, the hopper will take items out of the chest. You can't yeah. place a chest there. Is the sand farm still on? Yeah. Maybe we should turn it off. Hey, it's off. Is it off? Okay. Oh, the water stream is cut off. <laughs> it's probably oh, yeah, I see the sand. Ooh, um... Okay. Now it should be fixed, yeah. I just noticed another issue. How did that hopper cart get inside of the... Scary thing to rail? Under there too. Yep. Why do they need so much TNT? Because on the Skyblock server, they don't use TNT tubing anymore. So all the farms run an actual TNT, and therefore you need a lot of TNT. Okay, this hopper cart has somehow made it. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Right, these are all full of gunpowder. And I'm sorry for not reading the chat, but normally I have the in game uh, Twitch integration. Right now I'm using my iPad on the side because I still have to <laughs> order a second screen. <laughs> Why shouldn't we check the next one before <laughs> we found another problem? Um, I found that the hopper carts underneath yeah. the shulker box unloader are stuffed up. 
This is like fixing skyblocks with friends. <laughs> <laughs> fixing stuff where everybody's watching. Yeah. Invite. Uh, You're right, on can cubic. Don't feel the pressure. <laughs> no pressure here. No, that's that <laughs> no. <into> the crafter. <laughs> <laughs> is Oof. it totally broken now? <laughs> um, no, it should be broken. It'll just jam up. And yeah. we can just get it out. But we have a few other auto crafters to show on the server. Yeah, we'll fix this another time. Let's continue with the tour. Uh, where did this slab go? Oh no. Ooh. Yeah, so we've got the TNT crafters here. Um. They will detect when there's sand and gunpowder, and then input them in an alternating pattern at the same time. But because there's an odd number of slots in the crafting table, it'll go gunpowder, sand, and then it'll finish on gunpowder again, and repeat the cycle. So it's a really nice way to make a one wide tileable TNT ah, crafter. Okay. So nice. It's really easy to expand it based on what rates you're inputting. So we only get 27,000 gunpowder per hour from the gunpowder farm. Yeah. What's next? The next is the dirt farm. Okay. Oh my god. Ah, I found the slab. Thank you. I always get confused, like, the restore location doesn't work here. <laughs> you go back, you don't go back to your original spot. Wait, what is this thing? Um, it's an rack farm, never yeah. finished. Yeah, it's not quite operational. Oh. How do you get netherrack? It's fire charges on cobblestone. Okay. Oh, okay. But we don't have a lot of need. Flying is not enabled on the server. <laughs> <laughs> I was in freakout mode. Okay. Yeah, if you jump, I need to speak a bit more. Stay on the air. Oh, um, somebody overloaded the um the gunpowder elevator. <laughs> I was wondering why it was running continuously. The cubic so didn't you just leave it there? Oh, it's better to yeah use the white yeah. road here. Use boats. Hmm. Oh no! Except for this part. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Because of the new yeah, but. Just make sure you don't drive into the void with yeah, it's uh, 20 meters per second or something. It's going to glitch through the ice. Oh, that was such an issue in the beginning. In Skyblock, yeah. yeah. the boats were crazy. I'm still always glitching through, even though it's fixed. <laughs> but usually it's like my mistake that I'm glitching through. No, oh, it was like so so bad chunk loading. If you just drove the boat, the, the chunks again? didn't load. Um, yeah. Go to, um, left XCOM. I mean, Greg. And then again left. We're sitting in the same boat. Wait, are we going to the? Oh dirt no, farm? you went too far. Yes. This is yes, the Swedish like boat. <laughs> Oh god, I ran over Sky King. <laughs> you maniac, yeah. <laughs> I picked up some boats. I'll go in spectator mode again, I guess. Oh wow. 
So this is one of the big farms here. Ah, I saw screenshots of that. Oh, that, that looks crazy. Uh, the kind of annoying thing is that I, I discovered a blast chamber design that would have turned these three separate blast chambers yeah. into just what, the one. But that was after we finished building the whole thing. It looks so cute at the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Factory building. Yeah, well, like, if we made this building, but, like, we can't build any foundation for it because it's just floating in the sky, the <laughs> sky block. So, we're like, eh, we'll just put rocket boosters on it. <laughs> 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 Works, I guess. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm sitting in that. Yeah. Really like the, the, what is it? Gravel? Gr no, granite. Yes, yeah, granite in between is so cool. Yeah, we need around 50 silverfish. To run. Yeah, at least 50 silverfish to run the dirt. With f dirt? Yeah, this is dirt farm. And you have to start by making gravel. And we use silverfish for that. Oh, where's the gravel? Uh, um, directly it's in front of the portal. Okay. Ah, okay. I can't find a portal. Ah, down here, okay. Wait a minute, we removed the end portal. <laughs> yeah, there is a silverfish spawner. Um, there was a end portal which was removed. So... <laughs> a zombie gravel inspector. Yeah, we have one of those. Okay. Um, so guys, can you explain a bit better how this works? Yeah, so here we're using the, um, the mechanic where silverfish entering cobblestone and leaving it will drop a gravel instead of just doing nothing like it does in vanilla, which is kind of boring. And that way we get renewable gravel by filling a chamber full of silverfish and then torturing the crap out of them. <laughs> nice. How do you get them out uh, again after they get into the cobblestone? Um, You've seen a moment. <laughs> what again? Sorry. So uh, friendly damage. Um, damage from friendly entities will cause nearby silverfish to leave. Ah, okay. Box. And you're torturing one of the silverfish here, or what? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to turn in on TV. And apparently potions are friendly, so... Okay. Uh, yes. That's the reason for the witch, then. Yeah, so we've got a system here to get renewable potions. It's going to be on... No. It starts Which... up. Um, skeleton gets line of sight of this golem and tries to shoot it, but hits the witch instead. And the ah, witch gets okay. pissed off at the skeleton and starts chucking poison potions. And these po poison potions are perfect because you can um, because you can stuff the chamber full of like hundreds of silverfish, and the air of effect means that you have hundreds of silverfish getting damaged at the same time, and it drastically increases the chance of silverfish in adjacent blocks to leave their blocks. Nice. Yep. So, so here we're just we're zero ticking in cobblestone the instant that the silverfish break it. I think of a hundred silverfish, we get up to sixty thousand gravel per hour. That is pretty cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, this mechanic is such a good one. And the uh, uh, funny song. Dirt farm started? Yep. Yeah, so using auto crafting, we can actually combine dirt and gravel to make coarse dirt. And two gravel and two dirt makes four coarse dirt. And so, and then hoeing the coarse dirt, 
you can convert it back into normal dirt. So you get twice the amount of dirt out that you put in. So you get renewable dirt this way. Nice. Ah, here's the auto crafting, okay. Where were you doing cobblestone? Um, that was from when you're breaking cobblestone manually. Mm, maybe. Um, it'll just circle around until it despawns because there's there no any filters for this? cobblestone. Yeah, zombie? Zombie? That's the yeah, gravel the inspector. Yeah. That's the gravel inspector. Oh, and yeah. the, <laughs> the, the, the fish yeah, is the quality awesome. of all the gravel before it leaves the gravel farm. So yeah, we, we always always have um, top quality gravel to make our dirt from. And the fish is just uh, is a dummy item of, uh, for the crafting table? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they work well as a dummy item because, I mean, I, I don't know what idiot's going to use fish in a recipe. True. <laughs> Wait, where is the auto-crafting system? Is it top? It's, it's at the very top. The cycle yeah, of yeah. slime and honey. That is a um, 24,000 oh. operation power cyclical auto crafter. It works really well for 2x2 two two recipes. It has issues with running into the push limit for 3x3 three three recipes, however. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. We have a, so a slightly slower. Auto crafter, but it can do universally any crafting recipe. Yeah, we'll check that later. And here the dirt comes out, okay. Then you block place them, I guess, and blow them up. Yeah. Yeah, we have to nice. like hold the coarse dirt. Is that manual or is that also dispenser? The dispenser. Dispenser. And... Dispenser's hot using iron hose. And we have a separate crafting system that the instant a hoe gets used up, it will detect it and the level will drop. And so it'll slot a new one in using an auto crafter. Trying to find where it happens. Um, um, next to yeah, the blast bit... chambers. Yeah. You see the, those two servers with rails above? Ah, oh, I see. So it starts, we start by putting in shulker boxes of um, iron blocks and logs. And there'll be crafting systems which separate the iron block into iron ingots. And also the logs into wood. Then there's another system that turns the wood into sticks. And that all gets combined into this um, on-demand cyclical auto crafter. We should just put all the ingredients for iron hose in the correct order. And so you can automatically craft tools as they get used. Hey, thanks XKB for the subscription. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to get booted due to client packets. Mm. Or server packets. Oh, the um, hoe crafter just went. Yeah, now it's off. Have you, um, do you know where the hoe crafter is? Because it's a bit of a mess. Then the items come through here. No, I can't see the hoe crafter, but I can see the. It's right it's under one of the rockets of the factory. Oh, okay. Look on the. I'm following the hopper line. The south, the southeast side of the um, of the factory at the top. The Underneath south. Uh, yeah. Southeast. South. It's East. just beside the uh, the uh, the rocket thingies. The rocket Underneath. Thingy. Underneath the house. Oh, ah, I see. You just put in the iron blocks and chalker boxes and it unpacks everything and then. Crafts the post. That's really cool. Wow. <laughs> we, we calculated Three. that um, running this farm continuously, it will take two entire months to deplete the iron blocks and logs. 
we were going to yes. make a bamboo farm to make sticks and a but tree farm to make everything. wood. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't know that yet. <laughs> but it was like two or kill for this farm, so we decided, like, yeah, let's simply build some shark boxes in. I mean, the cool thing about this farm is it uses so, so many features from Skyblock and you won't see this farm anywhere else or in, on any other server. It's so cool. Yeah, thank you. To be honest, it'd be great to have ways of getting some of these resources renewably in vanilla. Because the, the alternative is to just, like, deplete the terrain. No. Yeah. I mean, so I you guess to... oh, you only have to get gravel renewably. You can do the same in vanilla with the uh, hoeing, right? Yeah. 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 But the gravel. And also, auto crafting would be really nice to have. Yep. Yeah, we enabled it on, uh, on Hakate. But still, people don't want to have modded features, and Mojang will never add auto crafters. At I mean, they're, they're expressed quite negative feelings towards it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. They they seem to have more and more people in the team who by now experience that the technical stuff actually really helps your, your gameplay and it makes it much more fun than it used to be. Yeah, because so I think, if I, I think if over I'm the last years, they didn't have anyone in the... Or, you know, also the, the team members, no, no matter who was <laughs> now newly added, um, they didn't really have this idea of what technical gameplay could be like. And by now, I've seen several times tweets by people and then also multiple motions that sort of endorsed it by liking it and shit. Um, there, there was quite some movement in the last couple of months. So I wouldn't rule it out completely. I mean, it's unlikely and not going to happen soon. Certainly not in 1.16. I think that's fairly sure. But I wouldn't rule it out completely. I mean, maybe if there's a slightly more restricted variant that someone can come up with, maybe that has a bit of a better chance than a general auto crafting. But I feel like there there could be something. I think happening. the way it's implemented in auto crafting table is actually is actually fairly balanced because the auto crafting it table many, can only many months. accept. Yeah, it took many months to come up with this idea. It, it, it wasn't like come out of nowhere. Like there were so yeah. many auto crafters in in many mods. Like. Rehashing it, there was this. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, well. fully true. Now, what I feel yeah. like in the current system, it works for let's say the more advanced technical community. But if they add such a feature, they would want it to be a little more accessible in the beginning already, which is somewhat sad. But let's be honest, um, we're we're a bit of a niche community, right? And uh, people who are entering and stuff, they might want to use it as well. So if they ex introduce it as an explicit feature, which is somewhat in, uh, inevitable, I guess, right? because there, there's yeah, nothing you could by accident thing. combine they, to... They have to add that as a feature. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's not something that could emerge from some other subtleties, right? Um, because there, there's really nothing that interacts in such a way yet. Um, so, yeah, I think it, it would need to be a bit more accessible than pumping things in in the right order and, and stuff. You know, that it seems a little too complex uh, for for an explicit feature. So next up for us is the epic wither skull farm. Oh boy! So I mean, uh, I did a video on basic auto crafters, which covers really well, like some basic ways that. Um... Yeah, but then you need to watch a video first. That that's something they're really strongly expressed. And I mean, they're also actively trying right, to reduce the need for having to watch external sources first before you can play the game. Right. And that I can totally see. I mean, it, it makes sense, right? Um, but I think, having, so, but I think having um, all these, uh, like, the, all the different variations of autocrosses you can make and the different configurations that are possible makes experimentation um essentially promotes our experimentation with it which is why i think true. it's quite I, good i'm, I'm, I'm not saying here. that's that's absolutely true and yes please 
wherever it's possible. I, I love these kind of things. Um, but yeah, the problem is the, the features Mojang introduced explicitly, they are never made necessarily for, you know, being basically one feature that only works at, at high experience levels. It should be something that gets you started, but that you can immediately use it, that's very intuitive. And then maybe it has even more uses because it's, it's something so basic and combine it with many things, right? To, to advance over time. But the, the entry level must be no. basically trivial and self-explanatory. Um, I mean, the entry level is just um, the basic hopper crafters, the ones that you can have hooked up to a farm's output that will do things like automatically splitting bones into bone mill and then combining them back into bone blocks, things like that. Yeah, you might be just... But I still don't see Can that as quite as intuitive. What I could imagine as kind of a middle ground is like that they would allow players to block certain spots. So you only need to get the order right but don't need to mess around with filler items. Yeah, yeah, that for could sure. be. Yeah. Um, so we go up here. Well, maybe. It... But in the end, uh, if they add something like that, they probably add something uh, like in the mods where you have uh, the yeah, recipe store and be just easy, pump yeah. in the items. No, I don't think they will ever add something like the modded versions. I highly doubt. It's so boring. Yeah, and all those... yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like I think me, me and Mr. Grimm argued for months on end that he wanted to use uh, have the redstone, what is it called redstone mod, red red power or something. He wanted to use that, and I kept saying that, that that's too easy. Yeah, but the thing is, this, we are talking about Mojang right now, not our own beliefs. Or... True, but I mean, if the problem is if, if Mojang adds something that is boring, people will immediately just uh, call it modded and it will just get really negative feedback from the yeah, community. But, but people call everything modded, right? People call the Elydra modded, people call Shulker Boxes modded. After three weeks, no one cares about it anymore. People call the 116 yeah, that, update a modded. Loud yeah, it's that's normal. Um, I think. Now, what I could imagine, they would introduce instead of going for a full autocrafting table, that there's at least something like a splitter or whatever, just to give it a different name than a grinder. Um, like, like the compacting drawers from um from the yeah, drawers. I'm not mode. Too sure about those, but just something like a splitter, as you mentioned, like for for bone meal uh, or these kind of things. So it's not a full autocrafter, but something that takes one item and turns it, you know, into whatever. It becomes like a, a single slot crafting table, effectively. Cubic. Something along these lines, I could imagine. And then maybe from there, it can expand over a few updates. Are you guys spawning in a uh, bot? Yeah. I got him. Yeah. Kill the hell switch. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the videos. <laughs> and are you turning it on? Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, it's on. Hmm. Oh, nice. So, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Sucks up the wither yeah. <laughs> hmm? yeah, really cool ways you oh, can wow, use this is so fast. It's yeah. 18 skulls per minute. We have more skulls than we have used for. We can use it for scaffolding. I think every Buddha skeleton farm is like that, right? <laughs> At some point, yep. Mm -hmm. The limiting At factor. At least we have a renewable way of getting soul sand. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I've been yeah, working that's on the making um... <laughs> soul sand and obsidian are the limiting factors. Well, not anymore. Not in Wither killing is all the limiting farm. factor. <laughs> Yeah. I've got a design for a um a wither killing chamber that can do eighteen thousand per hour. <laughs> because we <laughs> severely lack bedrock in this world. Yeah. Kind of... That's one thing we don't Only the end of... portal and, and some gateways. Yeah. Uh, but here we also I... use the How do you kill top... the uh... How does the blaze come out on one side and the mobs on the other side? Because um, their momentum, the way they interact with slice portals, 
Um, if they have a high Y momentum, they'll actually appear underneath the portal. Yeah, they'll glitch oh. through the portal block, the portal frame. While the blazers, because they um, they fall at a constant rate, um, they get stuck inside the portal frame, and then we just crush them to death. We don't really care about their drops. This is really cool, though. and then the rest of the mobs die down here. Yeah, so we just... Um, we realized that we should probably be collecting bones from the skeletons as well, so we just added a drop shoot. And we... Oh, have... I see you guys use cactus storage. Yeah, we have like a cactus storage system at the end. I don't know what the hoppers are for. The cactus is enough. <laughs> 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 well, we use auto crafters, so we need the hoppers. So for the coal and bone meal, there are auto crafters that uh, change them into blocks. Oh, that's so cool! And then you use a uh, wait. That's very glitchy. Yeah, the the movable talent is. I I made some some designs that do the same thing as this, but the, they don't use movable tile entities, so they're a lot better. Right, a better. Well, they don't need movable tile entities. Movable tile entities are quite laggy, because every time it converts into the block 36 state, it has to transfer all the information inside the inventory. Not really. The way it's implemented, it, it doesn't copy anything, basically. So, like, the only way it could be laggy is maybe client side, but server side is nothing. Can I, can I, uh, uh, do you guys create a multi Twitch so I can link it in my chat? Because probably a lot of people want to see you guys' uh, viewpoint. Is it Panic? Um, Helica as well. Mm -hmm. What is this? Multi Twitch? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah. Akon is link is uh, multi Twitch in all the three perspectives. If you guys want to go, go watch that. I just needed the multi Twitch, so there is a couple of people that probably don't don't see you guys' perspective. Can you put it somewhere on Discord quickly so yeah. we can also post it? And let me just put it into Sacraft private no, no, public voice. Thank you for the follow. There we go. Thank you. I really like that you guys are actually using the auto crafters to the full extent. It's really, really positive. A lot of people uh, don't want to use any any non vanilla features explicitly, mostly because they just I don't know. It's just the way that they want to play the game. But uh, like the, the way that you guys are using them now is just it makes the game so much more enjoyable. I think it just makes the game so much complexer and interesting. Yeah. It doesn't make yeah, it I mean, easier, I'm... it makes it more fun. Well, it just means, yeah. just makes processes scalable, right? So, should so I let's go go turn it off? I also like the different ways to the autocrafters work. Some of them move the hoppers around, and some of them just move the crafting tables around, so... Yeah, there's your, there's your static ones, your synchronous dropper crafters, cyclical auto crafters. There's a whole bunch of different designs you can use for different applications. And in my opinion, it's it's making processes scalable based on um, demand that makes the game more fun. Like people who aren't technical don't have to use auto crafters. Like um, if they if, if they never if they never need more than a stack of any item, then it's it's better for them to just 
use this table manually. But technical servers that which use lots of resources, like imagine trying to manually craft four double chests of shulker boxes of stained glass or yeah. just, or any other component, like Cross it just gets senses. it just gets so prohibitive that like you don't really want to play the game anymore. And that that's what I think um auto crafting fixes. Yeah, you get rid of the scripts and mo uh, client side mods that other servers have to use. Yeah, like yesterday, we crafted tons of pop of, uh, of chest mine cards. Yeah. But it's taken hours in Vanilla. <gasps> and yeah, it was only really enjoyable with item scroller. If you had auto crafters, you could probably have them running in the background while you do something else and wouldn't need it. Yeah, that, that sort of thing is what our universal autocrafter does. Got yourself a sword, Helga. Yeah, I found this sword. Gonna keep it. Did you get that by sorting through the drops? Yes, exactly. Um, you got should it from we the cactus story. Yeah. It's everything is off, I think. So, um, let's go now to main storage. It's get nice and cozy in this portal. There are signs everywhere. Oh uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we often get uh, quite new players who aren't very experienced with technical servers on here. So you have to make sure we just spam signs everywhere to convey the, the idea what was that the everything's dangerous. To get the update suppressed portals in that cross shape. Which uh, one did you do first? I believe that was Solly who did that. He's basically okay. our expert on anything that's ridiculously insane. <laughs> That was impressive, that's... Yeah, that's why we call it the epic farm. <laughs> yeah, but, like, it was amazing because the, those update suppress portals just sat there doing nothing for, like, eight, like month. months. Months, yeah. And then we suddenly, suddenly found out, like, we were still using the... Like, this really old mob farm that was really laggy that used campfires and water flushing okay. to get bones. And we're like... How have we gone so long without a, a decent source of bones? And then um, uh, yeah. stumbled across, I just stumbled across this abandoned build, which is like these crazy update suppressed portals. And we're like, <laughs> this produces an insane amount of willow skeletons. Why don't we just use this for bones? <laughs> and so we, we contacted Solly, and it like he was like, oh yeah, I started building that ages ago. You want me to finish it? And we're like, yes. No, I was just confused how to get the portals in, the, uh, in that shape without update suppressing a hundred times, but uh, then I realized in 150 or not sure what version, you can actually update blocks next to the portal, just not at the outside. So where the obsidian would be, you can't update, yeah. but you can't actually update the portal blocks. It's only along the axis that the uh, portal's yeah, exactly. facing. Where are we going now? Uh, into storage is the main portal. Oh, uh, the big wait, portal I've lost in you. the middle. Where are you? Did you guys start uh, using the main uh, boat? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, I'm so. using the boat as well. So, uh, should I go right or left? Mm. Oh, main storage, okay. I'm coming. If you're on the yellow road, then it should be straight, yeah, just straight ahead. This main storage is so great for just dumping your inventory. <laughs> I take dumps in here all the time. 
I still have Sometimes. to say this is one of the probably one of the best layouts for main storage in my opinion. Yeah, I really like this one. Think of enough. the normal yeah. items and the bulk items right next to each other. Yeah, we need to change. <laughs> yeah, down. well, there, there's still a bunch of items that really should be bulk, which which aren't. Ah, yeah, I guess you can really switch them out afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really big problem. Because <laughs> because uh, then we just end up filling chests with shulker boxes. Yeah, just look at the gunpowder chest, for example. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but no idea why the gunpowder isn't a bike item. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the idea was to store stuff at the farms and then we didn't. Uh, or didn't store I mean, all we of it aren't at the farms. technically storing the gunpowder at the farm, but then people decide to move the gunpowder over. Well, no, that's just the gunpowder from the old mob farm. So oh, okay, I mean, like... yeah. Yeah, and then uh, stuff like slabs, for farm, example, you never really have a lot of their spike uh, slabs or bike item. So I uh, suggest everybody uh, click on the bats here because um, to create a respawn point if we go to the end. Oh yes, I think that's already here. Otherwise you might go Can back only to sleep at night during the oh. or during the thunder. Ah, I see. It's 15 the other day. Also, we have this oh, little really block swapper back here. <laughs> the five sleep at the same time challenge. Oh, uh, yeah. Because this is very good. <laughs> you have to try that sometime. It's it's a, it's a great block swapper. It's very <laughs> useful. Yeah, just don't spam it, wow. Don't spam yeah, it. This, Sky, this did you do this one? Box. Yeah, I built those, but uh, I guess people broke it now. Oh, they're so nice. How, how yeah, did you get it? I mean, oh. It's just Mango's block swapper with more brutality. Mm -hmm. yeah, Little talent is so good. Yeah. And the fact that Mojang actually considering adding it to the game. And then there's this super nice potion crafter. <laughs> Which nobody really knows how to use. No, <laughs> no yeah. you we have to make a new someday. one. <laughs> yeah, this this is where we craft all our coronas. And let's go to the other crafter. Uh, yeah, everybody jumped into the ant, or oh, should we just farm first? Should we start with the ant, maybe? So we flooded our ant. Oh, okay. Oh. We did that <laughs> be when we before we uh, killed the dragon. So we had this flooded when we killed the dragon like 20 sometimes to get all the and the gateways. Ways. We are currently building a a and brick stone farm. But we yes, haven't finished farm. that yet. But underneath yeah uh, or near the glowstone, there is a portal we have to go through. Uh, Alright, I, oh, right, I, yeah, I have to rip swimming. tight into the portal. And there Damn. are there are conduits here, so um, we don't drown. Ah. And we sh should be able to <laughs> swim out. into. It's the second time you've done that, Sky. <laughs> yeah, it can sometimes be hard. No, yeah, yeah, someone ran right away. I have to jump down. Come on. Yeah, just jump to the water below. Yeah, and you spawn on top and find the water. Open. Where is it? Yeah, oh. so this is the soul extractor. Alright, we only have a one player mob cap, don't turn it on. <laughs> the soul extractor. <laughs> um, I need to put a bot on the other side. Hang on. If you, if you run it without a two-player mob cap, it will break. Uh, given that you have several people on the server, you should have a higher mob cap, anyways. Yeah, but we're all in the same place. 
Yeah, it should still add a few. Uh, we yeah. currently have Part 148 mob Part cap. That's only because I'm currently on the other side of the portal. Okay. Yes, yeah, since 114, if you're in the same chunk, it doesn't count those oh, outside okay. chunks double oh. anymore. Bullshit. Wait, where's Alex? Oh, uh, yeah, I spawned him in. I should kill him. Mm -hmm. There we go. So how does Soul Sand um, work? Like how do we you... extract it from the souls of our victim. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I remember. So if, if you don't mind, people, if you would get into the soul extractor for us. We need some fresh souls. So we're using the mechanic here that if a mob dies on sand while the sand is on fire, that sand will convert into soul sand. And so... in previous designs, we used zombie pigmen in the nether. However, we had to light the sand using flint and steel, and that's obviously consumable. So here in the end, it's great because we actually have a really good source of mobs in the, t in the form of an enderman farm. But also, end crystals in the end will spontaneously light blocks that are pushed underneath them. So by using end crystals, we can have a self-sustaining fire to extract the souls of the enderman. <laughs> that is smart. And then the soul scientist from... pushed down. Yeah, I heard yeah, the explosion. Yeah, it, the yeah. soul sand is pushed down and into a blast chamber. Oh. And this makes 12,000 soul sand per hour. This is really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this is the um, the design I discovered for the block shaper using your mango's blast chamber. Oh, this is blast chamber where TNT gets launched from the bottom, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, we push in from four separate sides. Just improves the reliability heaps. It can take a lot more punishment. Yes, the issue was that El Mingo's Blast Chamber, if you feed the blocks in at the incorrect rate or vary the rate rapidly, like if you don't, for example, if you didn't use zero ticking, feed the blocks in um the block conveyors would get out of sequence and then a block gets pushed in the middle and the whole thing would just explode because tnt would get jammed this layout's nice because it's just a lot easier to build and just a lot easier to comprehend as well, because it doesn't need the binary logic for no. the block shaper. Makes sense. It's a really cool mechanic. I like this mechanic, to be honest. Yeah. A lot of people also also find it really cool. Like, it's just in impressive, like how you guys have managed to uh, pull this off. Oh yeah, it places the, the sand from dispensers, right? Yep. Yeah. So it's completely automated. Nice. And it was, it took so much effort to get this farm working reliably because this blast chamber, if you send blocks too erratically, it will, it, there's a small chance that it will, but it will get jammed. And of course, if you're creating soul sand by a process that's reliant on mob spawning, then the soul sand generation is going to be fairly erratic. So it, it was actually very difficult to find a configuration where soul sand was consistent enough that the blast chamber wouldn't break. Ah, and that's why you need a double mob cap, so you always have yeah. to man. You can run it on the clock, okay. Because sands that doesn't get converted, if it enters the blast chamber's block streams, it would break the blast chamber. But I mean... Is there, is there any way to fix the TNT uh, blast chamber? 
when it jams up? Or what do you mean? Like it, do you make it more reliable? Um, the way I made it more reliable here is that I slowed it down from its max speed, 18,000 per hour, down to 12. And of course, running it on the 12 mob, the two player mob cap, expanding the killing chamber to two blocks rather than one block, which is what the previous design had. And also introducing a system which destroyed the sand that doesn't get converted and just recycles it back up into the system. So I think like 96% of the sand gets converted and 4% doesn't. That 4% isn't quite enough to put the blast chamber out of sequence, but if it was, if, if say it was larger like 20%, um, the chance, the probability of the blast chamber getting jammed would increase exponentially. So minimizing the um, amount of sand that fails to convert is um, a priority here. Yeah, I can see some sand being not being converted and falling down. So. What happens if the uh, new 16, will you guys like still use this thing after the zombling, zomb just gonna piggling trades come in? I don't know. No. To be honest, yes, because this is a lot cooler than just throwing gold at a random mob and getting a random block out, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the ground farm is a lot more cooler. And yeah, it's <laughs> no, I mean, you've, you've already <laughs> built it, but uh, will this the rate of this farm be faster, or how does it fit? I think it depends on what your piglin setup is. Um, I don't remember what rates. I think El Manga did a bunch of testing with the piglin trades to find out the exact rates of each item. So, I guess we could look at his video. Yeah, but that it out. also changed like three times or so in three snapshots after each other. <laughs> yeah, so th there's, there's no guarantee. It's fast or for soul sand, I guess. Honestly, this is just cooler. Like, I don't know yeah. why you would bother doing anything else other than this. Yeah. <laughs> also, here we know we get soul sand and we don't get random crap and have a chance for soul sand and the rates <laughs> might be a bit random. Like, we're here on Skyblock using these cool mechanics to make stuff renewable, and all Mojang does is, uh, we'll just add random trades to the piglin to make this stuff renewable. The you want trying obsidian? Right. Throw gold at a piglin. You want sauce? Then throw gold at a piglin. Yeah. Okay. Did we go to the autocrafter? No. Um... We can show the endstone farm, but it's not finished. <laughs> the endstone farm? Yeah, it's a cool one. <laughs> oh, How do you start screaming? <laughs> uh, control. Um, control. Oh no, he's drowning. <laughs> Steve! <laughs> Why you do this, uh, Steve? So if we go you back to the platform, push, not to the... Uh, Steve will just fountain. slowly float down into the void. Real question is why does Steve have a minecon cape? I'm pretty sure he never attended a minecon. <laughs> I mean, who, what, who actually owns it? the Steve account? Mm. So it's a I'm bit of sure walk. On it. Oh my. I'm gonna uh, have fake like Steve on, Alex so don't fall down. Sure Wait, where are you going? You're uh, gonna show them the endstone farm. Even if it's not oh. fully built. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because it's just so cool. It says you can use this in gateway to travel to the endstone farm. Yeah, we can yeah. use the gateway. <laughs> yeah, that gateway there. Yeah, a lot um, faster. The there's, there's, yeah, there isn't really a good way to get back. Um, yeah. Which is why we skipped the end gateway, lo the endstone farm last time. Be really careful when you. Yeah, when you go through, because there is yeah. like one 
glasblokk jeg hadde lønt på. Åh, oh, det er... Ah, ok. It uses the same height map as spawning, I guess, then. Because in 112, a uh, class book, for example, wouldn't count as a block to teleport to from a gateway. I think it picks anything that, that um, satisfies it is normal cube. Yeah, it's full cube now. Yeah, so okay. it picks, it picks yeah. whatever block is the highest okay. within a certain radius. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's uh, 11 by 11. Should we activate end switch because there's Enderman spawning over here? Oh yes, and oh no, end switch doesn't work at the moment. Everyone leave, 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 leave. Dude, just go into spectator mode. Oh, I can't. Wait, how do we get out of here? Um, Can we go? Just slash... That's oh, is that pathway it. there? Everyone should just go slash. Can we, can we, we, we don't have off to go yeah, to the spectator. We just say... <laughs> no, slash is able to attack. Oh, there's an enderman. Can yeah. we... Uh, do we need to leave the farm? Can we go just through oh, the gateway? I was killed. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, you lose level. Mm. Yeah, end switch isn't actually operational at the moment. <laughs> this was I probably should have mentioned that. Okay. Try yeah. to, try slash C. We don't have off to, to go to spectator. That's that's not, that yeah. was uh, prevented us. Doesn't work here, XCOM, because people use it to cheat out when they fall into the ward. That's oh. why you should activate um, XCOM. I said it so everyone can do it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why can't why can't I go to slash C? You can. Yeah, I went slash C and I could. Yeah, because you're up. You're up, probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, all side crafters. I no, see. not all. <laughs> I'm only able to do it because I asked Mega. <laughs> oh, poor Helga. <laughs> All the Psycrafters yeah. from yeah. when the world was started, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What those that played. Hmm. So you want to explain why <laughs> why we have so many problems here? Give... Oh god, there's so many endermen. Yeah, uh, these endermen are going to be a problem because if they... Oh no, that if, they, if they're spawning next to the minecarts, we need to get out of here quickly. Okay. You can also Should just jump into the void. <laughs> That's an option. Yeah. Yeah, because if these enemies push the minecarts, it's, oh, it's gonna it's gonna be such a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you go into the portals? You, you, you can't. can't. You can't use the end gateways here, which we which we definitely shouldn't have come here. <laughs> All right, there we go. Helga, I have your stuff in my ender chest. Thank you. Okay. I'll store my stuff and then do instant okay, teleportation. Okay. Everyone set the spawns. Uh. Oh gosh, my whole ender chest is filled with random Oh, crap. Greg, you're wearing your boots. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I made yeah. a box of short cut off them, so it doesn't matter. Stream, I will demonstrate I have, I have you a, guys. I have a lot in my ender chest. I'll stream, I will demonstrate to you what's the fastest way to travel in 1.15. <laughs> what, faster than a Pearl Cannon? <laughs> yeah. It's the fastest Bam! way to travel in Minecraft. Actually, XCOM? Yeah. For short sure distance, it for short distances? If you, if, you, if you have a, a stasis chamber, you can teleport 60 million blocks. With killing, you can... Oh wait, with killing, you can as well. Never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if you said... Yeah, but yeah, yeah, if you said the spawn point, true. Yeah, let's go to the other graph yeah. I thought you could only travel 30 million to get back to spawn. Can but... only yeah. spawn it, spawn, yeah. Uh, can we get you to bring some mad barriers? Um... Grab something? Didn't we have something planned? Oh, I was either hoppers or chest, depending on what we have. So we need chest, I think. But we don't have a lot of wood <laughs> because our tree farm is uh, broken. Oh, yeah, uh, yes. broken again. Yeah. We don't have a full box of chest. Oh, we need eight boxes of wood. 
So you're basically saying people are incapable of fixing it even when the light medic is. Yeah, popping. we tried. <laughs> <laughs> and no one says anything. Yeah. You ask someone. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I can fix I it, you just have to ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't I'd rather have other people fix it after they break it, but if they can't, I, I'm still gonna help. I managed to get four boxes of wood. Yeah, we're, we're very low on wood. We could make comparators. Hey, Lucas. How are we so low on wood? It's uh, probably because we've been focusing on getting soul sand and freaking the mirror skulls <laughs> and stuff yeah imagine wombo not having a mob switch in the uh, in the end and all of a the sudden they're actually enderman in the end oh no yeah that happened yeah, on cycle like <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah our, our end our end switch was literally just a um let's say it's just a spawning platform where we get our shockers to make the mob switches for the other dimensions Okay. <laughs> but I had to disable the mob switch capability in order to spawn more shulkers. However, um, in order to make a um overworld mob switch. Wait. So this is a, a fully automatic everything yeah. crafter. Yeah. Yes. Expert for honey blocks and sugar water. Wow. All right, we'll craft comparators. Okay. Yeah, sound effects yeah, also. There's, <laughs> there's normal stone at the smelter. I'll just get some. Um, I've got three boxes of stone. Do we? Oh, cool. Wait, how do you set it so that it crafts uh, comparators? Um, oh, don't tell me we don't have enough quartz. You just have to put uh, there's uh, in, in the piston bolt uh, materials chest. If you, it's to the right of the chest. storage, ah. like at the, the junction, there's a chest. That so the chest here, uh, the science here. Is, um, so you put it in the right order, according to the recipe. Ah, that is so cool. Yeah, and then the, the, the you have to wield in Hecate. Mm. And these levers we also have a design. Are... It's not finished. Yeah. We have a starting design. These levers yeah, are for the yield. So right, I got materials for a comparator. Wow, that's complicated the stuff in the middle. Okay, so we have Lines of chest corresponding to each slot. And you put tire shulker boxes in. So for comparator, we start with a dummy item. Then we go redstone torches. Another dummy item. Torch. Quartz. Torch. Stone. Stone and stone. So this can do anything from a shulker box to four double chests of shulker boxes at the input. And it ranges from five minutes crafting to I think it's like 24 hours if you fill all of these chests. How many items per hour does it craft then? Um, that depends on the crafting yields. It does 18,000 oper crafting operations okay. per hour. Nice. However, some recipes produce more than yeah, one item per operation. Yeah, of course. So I believe it, if you're crafting things like iron bars and glass panes, it's doing something like 200 and something. Uh, I keep forgetting the exact number. 288,000? I think, yeah, I think it's 288,000 items per hour. Makes sense. 18 times 16. <laughs> yeah, 288,000 items per hour. Glass pins. So, I so I'll just unlock these. I 
And so the shulker boxes get dispensed into a double speed um, unloader, corresponding to each slot. Each unloader goes to two separate droppers, and the droppers are fired in sequence with a crafting table blockchain. So the crafting table is a cyclical crafter, so the, the crafting table gets pushed through the conveyor, and the item corresponding to each slot gets put in at each stage. So it, it keeps everything in sequence. Oh. Turn what on. happens in the beginning? Some crafting tables are below chests that wouldn't fit, right? Are some of uh, them locked in the beginning? Yeah, so there's a startup sequence, so which unlocks so the, the hopper carts that are at the uh, that allow the double speed shock box unloading, they sit on yeah. top of activator rails and they will start locked. Ah, and then okay. the system will unlock them in sequence with the blockchain. Nice. So it makes sure that it makes sure that items start flowing to the droppers at the exact same time that the crafting tables get pushed through. How do you deal with the like the end sequence? Like, can you turn it off while there are still items? In? Yep. You can turn it off on. And that's the same way, just like opposite. Yeah. Oh, well, not really. It doesn't need a shutdown sequence because generally, it'll, before you turn it off, it'll, it'll just run out of items. Okay, but what if it, is, it hasn't? If it hasn't run out of items, if you turn it off, I mean, the only reason you'd need to do that is if you got the recipe wrong. So if you're not. So we're seeing comparators coming out of the elevator, so we got the recipe right. Um, if you got the recipe incorrect, uh, what you would need to do is turn it off. And then you need to press this button down here. No, don't! Oh! Why did you do that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, this button here is what you press when you get the recipe wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but what that does is it, it ejects all of the boxes from the input. Uh -huh. Um, and then you run the machine again to clear all the, um, uh, excess items in the tables out. And then you have to go back to the, um, the loading system and clear out all the junk. But still, it's it's not exactly going to cause issues. So no one needs to go behind the scene and just fix stuff. Yeah, it's only breaks if someone play, but uh, wrong recipe. It can't. It can't handle mixed items. So if random junk starts getting into the loaders, yeah, it makes sense. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got the stone and <laughs> donuts. But um, by it's really by impressive though. Oh yeah. The boxes. Yeah, it's impressive. Um, I yeah, I just pulled all the pot, so it got about halfway through the operation, and then the input boxes just got ejected. So what will happen now? Yeah, so it's just stop crafting, and it'll automatically turn off once. Finished. Yeah, problem is we got some torches and... There it goes. Sorry. Um, you didn't break it. What you did is you, you cancelled the crafting operation prematurely. Okay. And... The... Yeah. It doesn't break. The, the main issue is... Is if, um... You don't have a single item type going into the loaders. Because the recipe is wrong. But in our case, the recipe was correct. So we we should just get yeah a shulker box half filled with parrot, and I'm not sure what all this junk is. Ah, uh, last it's... night. Uh... Yeah, some of the boxes some of the boxes were, uh, from the input have slightly more items than others. So yeah, there's a slight imbalance in the items at the very end of the operation. Yeah, I guess it crafted some 
treasure plates from the stone or so. What, what happens if you put in like your less quartz than you were supposed to? And then if the items just... aren't balanced, then the recipe will stuff up at the very end. I see. And that's, that's not very good. But so, still, it's really impressive. I mean, we did 18,000 items per hour and it's completely automatic. And we also have like a, a chunk loader loading system here, a portal down uh, downstairs. Yeah, no player needed, yeah. So we don't need to have a bot or anything here. Oh, I used portal loading. Yeah, if I was to build this again, I would use mixed item loaders. That way you won't have to manually clear them out if you get the recipe wrong. I mean that yeah, that's basically the main issue that it has. If it's if it gets mixed items, the boxes won't eject from the system until the very end of the um crafting operation. However, it, it doesn't actually it doesn't actually activate the shutdown sequence until all of the loaders have stopped loading items into the shulker boxes. So if you have items backing up at boxes that won't eject, it will just run indefinitely. Okay, should we look at the concrete maker? You yep. concrete? This is really cool. <laughs> I really like this auto crafter. Yeah, I want to do videos about the cyclical systems. Do we have concrete to yep. make? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is one of the best last gen ones. What's the speed of this? Once again, 108,000 concrete per oh. hour. Oh <laughs> I mean, this just reminds me of that meme on Mango Stream. Why don't you put in the stone from four sides? <laughs> so I put in oh, no. four boxes of concrete powder. And they are split in to these four parts yeah but then mango took this design and then improved it further when we made the um the basalt factory this is only pushing in four blocks from each side however mango disc mango pointed out that we could push in five blocks per side if we extend everything to push limit so that um it's limited by the push limit when the box reaches the center. This is a lossless TNT blast chamber, right? Yep. Yep. Well, it's like 99.9% efficient. Like, you can't have 100%, fortunately. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, really cool and dispensers place the concrete. Uh, yep. How does it get crafted? I put put in concrete powder. Oh, you put concrete powder in. Yeah. yeah. So like the the auto craft is like right next door. So you just put craft concrete in that and then bring it over to here. Uh, we yeah, all... instead of bots doing it. Yeah, so much nicer. Dispenser is so nice. <laughs> It's so cool that dispensers can place blocks. It's so so interesting. Like it's a it's a bit overpowered if they can place every block. If they can place things like obsidian and other and other blocks, which are, are a bit cheaty. But I think that dispensers placing utility blocks that have some sort of world interaction process they need to go through, like concrete, for example. Other examples I can think of is the coarse dirt, turning coarse dirt into dirt, and holding it renewable dirt. That's a good feature for dispenser block placing. And also converting logs into strip logs. And we also don't sort um, the concrete here. We just put it in shulker boxes and go over to storage because there is such a good sorter there. Okay. Um, <laughs> nice. I, I, yeah. 
I, I did discover that main storage doesn't like filtering out the concrete from this factory. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe we need to make a, a sorter here then. Yeah, main storage I have... has a, a universal sorter for everything, but it's not the fastest. So, if you have a full box filled with one item type, Maybe don't put it in. Actually, I have a I have a really good um, shocker box sorting system based on um, Tuno's system that he designed to sort the quarry outputs on the Cycraft server. And I made a one wide tileable version that uses index sorting, so it will place a box, take out a single item from that box, and then send both the box and the item through separate droplet lines until it finds the slice corresponding to that item and then it'll put the box into that slice and then remove all of that particular item from the box and then eject it back into the box stream. If the box is not empty, it'll just recycle back through until all the items are pulled out of the box. And I'm, considering, I'm considering using a system like that to sort all this concrete. Because it's really lag efficient and really fast. Yeah, it's smart to just yeah put in random shulker boxes. Yeah, and then put the random shulker boxes into storage system. It's <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yeah. Some other person's problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you have this problem of how do we sort items? Wait, we already have a sorter on the server. Let's just use that one. Yeah, that's smart. I like how you're using that platform builder now for every project. Uh, <laughs> not every project. Like it, this it is started as my a, first time using it. block world and it uh, continues like a creative world with, with a glass floor. <laughs> True. <laughs> Is this melter broken yet? Uh, yeah, I fixed it. Okay. I'm a fixer. I'm fixing. <laughs> okay. Was there also some kind of a chunk loading system based on um, flower pots, or that was uh, just me imagining? That's just uh, we uh, use portal-based chunk loading. So you see, um, on the smelter and actually on to next to the. Autocraft the portal, we actually have these portal based chunk loaders. And these will automatically run while the factories are running, keep them loaded. So you can just walk away and leave them running. Also, above storage, there is some portals up yeah, there. Yeah, colored, those colored platforms. I tried to make one for the concrete factory, but it kept linking up to the Autocraft the portal. Quite annoying. I can't see them. Oh, come on, Netherfog, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We have Nether Netherfog turned off so we can see it. Wait, this portal isn't connected. It's like not full. It's half. Ha like it, it, there is a p missing piece on it. What? Hmm. What? <laughs> also, Quebec, I'm not sure if the uh, furnace array sorting is quite quite fixed it spit out three singular glass items where in the output chest oh i can see them now i had to fly quite fi high up to see him so i see i see <laughs> okay so what's next iron farm <laughs> yeah we can look at the iron farm oh um, um yeah sky Guy, I haven't actually, yeah, I haven't cleaned that out yet. That's yeah. why. The iron farm. I heard item farm. And I was like, <laughs> item <"Wait>, farm, yes. <laughs> you have one of those. Universal item farm. <laughs> Universal yeah, item, farm. Uh, item cube or what? It's better <laughs> no. to walk, I think, because it's just to the bridge there. Yeah. Um, this is not a spawn proof bridge, so. <laughs> But health switches on. Okay. Yeah, the bridge is kind of makeshift because I just had to move the existing <laughs> one out of the way to run the 
piston bolt making machine through here. Oh yeah, did someone fix the elevator on top? Probably not. Also, I shouldn't yeah. take it. No, you can take it. Uh, there's just okay. on the second elevator, there's a minecart missing. Okay. Uh, okay. I already hope that for some reason you guys build a um, iron golem elevator. Iron golem elevator, okay. Yeah, why not? We have a, a ghast elevator on Sky Skycraft. A gas? Wait, so you, that you use the hitbox of the gas to launch you in the yeah, air? No, the gas is just in the minecart and you just push him up. Oh no, I think I broke it. Oh, as long as it's in there, it should be fine. Yeah, now it's in again. Yeah, this elevator doesn't have a high throughput. No. <laughs> Take the ladder. But it's faster than the ladder, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Let's see who wins. You guys or me. Okay. I'm on top. <laughs> the three of us here down. Still. I would be ashamed if someone dropped an arrow down the ladder, right? <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now we have to wait. I remember, I remember the beginning of the... Oh, I'm getting compost on. I remember the early days of the skyblock. I put a ladder down below and I was going to test to see if I can actually survive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people are asking how to get on the server. There is only way to get it, uh, get here by a Patreon. Yeah. So this is the Ilmanko Patreon skyblock server. I accidentally placed. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm up. I'm up. Uh, next fl Yeah. Sorry. You lost. <laughs> if we had started at the first. Yeah, if you had placed the boat, the in, then you uh, would have won. So, um, do we have to take the ladder further? Where is the portal? Yes. Ah, the nice and calming sound of empty choppers. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you should hear my synchronous dropper auto crafter systems. They they make a beautiful. Sound. No, the other side, the other side, the empty side. droppers. Yeah, make sure you go through the side that's not covered. Okay. Otherwise maybe you end up should... on the spawning platform and it's hard to get back. Maybe we should use the um the update suppressor to just remove that side of the portal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just for <laughs> just for that because you know, we can't do the update suppression there. I'm gonna just I have to spam this with signs, like everything. <laughs> yeah, make sure to sleep. Uh... Yeah, because we have oh, phantoms we here. So yeah. sleeping is no, important. It's just, like the dumbest right thing right ever. You can try and make a phantom sweat. How? Oh. I mean, okay, we have the rule that they respect the mob cap, but... Oh, really? Wait. Oh, yeah, but why, why is vanilla not like that? Why is vanilla not like that? What the hell? Wait, we don't have a rule that they respect the mob cap. I was building the overworld mob switch before and Phantom has spawned on me. There is a rule in quick carpet, but it's not enabled. Is what I ah, think. okay. Who Could called him a pillageless builder, bro? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Let's not go that way. So is it on already? Oh, no, I am yet. How did you guys get the illagers? Spawn them. Raid uh, them. Oh, right, raid. Oh, right. I, I didn't think I did. about it. Like I thought it was not going to mine. Man. Then have them use up all their arrows. Yeah, they... exactly. <laughs> uh, also, the crossbow has to be broken, right? Yeah, basically. that. Uh, I, yeah, they don't use up the arrows. They break the crossbow. That's what I kind of meant. 
uses up durability. But it's on now, the farm. We just can't see the golems. Yeah, it's on, golems. on the overworld side. You see basically nothing. If Top. you're lucky, you see a golem for half a tick, but uh, that's it. Because <laughs> every spawning spot is... 1.16, something that I really want to try is going to a soul sand valley and making a portal based gas farm. Like, can you imagine the rates? Oh, yeah. yeah. You just have portals big enough for gas to spawn in them. Yeah, in Skyblock, it should be super easy, right? <laughs> Yeah, just build a um a portal based farm at Y zero and the gas will spawn like crazy and then you yeah. can teleport to the overworld. Yeah, you even have to update the press only every few blocks. Can have basically platform at Y zero and then just update the press portals every three blocks. Oh no wait, every yeah, every every three. No. Every four. But we can't see the iron farm because it's based on times of the day, right? No. No, it works. Yeah. Just to go straight side. through. You can see the nether side, but on the overworld side, you see basically nothing because they go through the falls. Oh, there! I can see it now. But here, you should oh, see just... them in the lava. Yeah. They come through in these like condensed packets. <laughs> like a clump, it looks like an RNG farm. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I mean, uh, when we built it, they kind of spread out more and actually utilize all the hoppers, kind of. The RNG farm, actually, yeah. if happen. you don't disturb the iron, iron golems at the start, they just fall straight down in a hmm. line. So we, uh, we disturb them so they spread out more. Yeah, I how think how you disturb to... them? Do you show them really graphic images? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Taped to an arrow. I guess we could do that here. Mm -hmm. But I think it's fine, the rates are not that crazy, so the hoppers can keep up anyway. And there's these crafting tails which compact the iron into blocks. Uh, and you wait a while and get out a box of iron blocks. So, what would you guys say is the greatest feature in comparison to vanilla on the server? Movable talent trees and dispensers block placing. Okay, so yeah, not all the crafting. Pretty... Well, but it's because I made the piston bolt maker, which okay. is entirely <laughs> reliant on those two features. It wouldn't work without them, so... Yeah, I'd say yeah. movable talent trees and auto crafting. Also because auto crafting relies on it, on movable tile entities for a lot of stuff. Either you move the hoppers or the crafting tables. Um, I have some synchronous dropper systems that don't need movable tile entities at all. Yeah, sure, but I mean it gives you more. A lot options. of them. Yeah. On like the yeah. one point take out just the auto crafting thing in carpet it has the um, the crafting benches are movable but nothing else yeah the cyclical auto crafters free up a lot of space to get items in yeah yeah, <laughs> what are we doing? yeah it's okay um yeah I, i'm this is only my third stream so i'm not yet affiliated um right i mean I, i've just finished building the overworld mob switch if you want to see that yeah i think that would be a nice thing to show okay it's at spawn probably um, yes yeah, towards spawn okay yeah because you said you have no obs uh, bedrock so <laughs> with a mob switch would be hard i guess yeah yeah that's right making mob farms lower is really nice that's the one benefit of, I guess, playing Skyblock. Yeah, you don't need to make room with us. Yeah, <laughs> no ticking. 
Yeah, we make we make perimeters um every day. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you guys, you guys just walk into unloaded chunks and the perimeter is already there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Dug a yeah, perimeter. Newly generated, I mean. Perimeter. You guys can invite the Dug members level. to the server tour. <laughs> yeah. We, could we dug out all the all of this, yeah. Yeah, we dug out all this terrain. Yeah, 30 million from 30 million blocks. You thought the 1k by 1k skyblock pyramid on Cycraft was impressive? Look at this. 60 million by 60 million. Uh, how many members are there? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, don't press the button. Changes all the time. So just take this portal. Uh, you, your frames may drop a lot. It's a warning. The the mob switches if you go towards the um the spawn portal. Yep, if frame dying. Wow, this yeah, works so much better. Shunkers. This map. Wait, why is it half gray, half uh, item frame? Um, if it's item frame, it's uh, the height map is kind of at zero, and if it's not, it's not at zero. Oh, uh, these areas people. are blocks. Oh no, wait, other way around. If the height map is correct and then that's, it's in, at zero, then it's uh, gray. And if the height map is incorrect, then it's transparent. Because the highest okay. block is where some air block is and it doesn't recognize it correctly. So, with the, skull <laughs> the, the overworld mob switch should be towards sort of spawn. Ish. How can you change the size of um, the names on a map or the banners on a map? Is it just the, how long the name is, or so? Is so some some banners uh, have a bigger name than others? I guess it's just the length. Yeah. Where's the mob switch? Um, over here. Where do you have to go? I'm in the nether. <laughs> okay. uh, go to spawn. Where is spawn? Uh, um, that other piston bolt. Take, take yeah. the piston bolt. The piston bolt. Not, 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 the, not the bumble bolt. Yeah, not, not the B one, the other one. Okay. And then go to the left through the like half creeper, half quartz piston bolt. Wait, what? You're going the wrong way on the piston pole. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, the piston pole is here, wrong way around. Yeah, mirrored here. <laughs> Why would you do this? Just to be special, I think. Exactly. I found yeah. the one contribution. Differentiate. The, my one contribution to the server that's still here. The, the gold farm. No, yeah. it's, it's different now. Hey, the spawn rings that denote the spawn chunks. Oh, like that oh one, yeah. Like the I mean, they're still there. They haven't changed at all. XCOM. Yeah. There's a Minecraft. Nobody's been to the spawn chunks, kind of. <laughs> there is? Yeah, there was a minecart in the piston bolt, but just oh. full of lulz I'm running through the piston bolt. Yeah. Because normally I also don't take them. How'd you get up yeah, on the fence? Fly through him. Hmm? How'd you get up on the fence? You can't jump on top of it. <laughs> There's a block here. Oh, oh right, the, the, the zombie pigmen. So which bottle do we take? Yeah, don't kill me. Okay. Back here. Huh. And then this thing. This green and white thing go on thing. the back of that. This was just built um, like a few hours ago. This overworld. No, another part. Okay. No, not oh, completely finished. There are some shulkers there. There's 914 shulkers to be exact. <laughs> oh my god, I lost you again. How did you get all of them in there without um, shooting each other? Should I come and um, show you? 
So Sully taught Sully taught me this really cool mechanic where um, if a shulker goes into a, ne a um, nether portal or any portal for that matter, yep, and there is no there are no available spaces oh. for it to teleport to on the other side of the portal. Um, instead of appearing. So you know how Nether and Overworld, you have the, the 1 to 8 ratio? Yep. If a, if a Shocker goes into a portal and there's no spaces for it to comfortably sit on the other side of the portal, instead of going through the 1 to 8 ratio, it will actually keep its coordinates, its relative coordinates in either the Overworld or the Nether when going to the opposite dimension. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. We had this so, issue the Cycrofts, I guess. So what we literally did was we, we built up this matrix of glass with all the buttons on it. It's all, it all occupies a single chunk in the 7x7 seven seven lazy chunk border around chunk loader setup. And then we um, we just use minecarts to transport the shulkers to a remote portal, which corresponds to those exact coordinates where the glass matrix is. And so they literally just teleported into the midair, middle of that matrix, and then from there they'll teleport to any available spaces in the mob switch. Ah, oh, okay. So I, it's a really handy way of um, dealing with the shulkers without getting anyone near them. Yeah, and apparently someone forgot one button and uh, removing the scaffolding. <laughs> I <assume>. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, forgot one button. Yeah, on the top of the scaffolding on this glass block, there's a button, I see. No, wait, there's not. Why are all the sharks in there? I don't know. Ah, I guess they don't have a destination to teleport to, right? Yeah, so, so the point, so they, where all that's those shulkers are stacked on that, that pink glass block on top of the scaffolding, that's where they come in. Uh -huh. they'll, they'll appear there from the nether. And then they don't want to sit there, so they teleport to any available space. And as the layers fill, um, the spaces run out, they will start teleporting to the scaffolding. And something really um, really funny about the scaffolding is that they will teleport to the scaffolding, but they won't want to sit there for long. And they will actually teleport only downwards along the scaffolding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's so the scaffolding is a really nice way. So like, the issue is that they will spread out from the center and then occupy all the layers in the center first. However, when new shulkers come in and all the center layers are occupied, they won't have anywhere to go, and so they'll pile up and then die. Scaffolding makes sure that they have a place to teleport to, but also. They will travel. They'll gradually travel down the scaffolding and then fill, um, <laughs> up, fill up the layers. That's so so it, it makes sure they make sure that they don't just pile up and die. Instead, they'll they'll evenly distribute throughout the glass matrix. So you can just keep it. You can just keep your distance, and then they'll just appear inside of there. And all we have to do is start up this chunk loader. And so at the moment, uh, with all the entities being loaded, uh, the MSPT is quite horrible. However, if we're all just on the nether side, I guess we can demonstrate that by going Wait, to the nether. How do you get, out, get the MSPT? Is it just log, uh, log TPS? Yeah. So if, if you stay oh, there on the... Yeah. Um, if you stay there with the shulkers, the MSPT is really horrible. Hopefully Mojang won't touch this mechanic. Yeah, so the MSPT is dropping down now. Yep, yep. they've unloaded the shulkers. But what we can do now, if you go slash log mob cap, and then go overworld. So slash mo log mob caps overworld. So at the moment, there are apparently 30 mobs in the overworld. I don't know how that's possible, but. 
There's nobody in the overworld at the moment, I don't think. Unless there's a bot. Oh, yeah. Maybe Dirt that must be the. Are... Yeah, I think it's a silverfish. Yeah. Um, Did you shut down the dirt farm, Jaw? Um, probably not. Okay. Uh, no, so. Yeah, okay, now we have no mobs in the overworld. So, can everyone see the overworld mob cap? Yep. So, the instant I press this button, it'll start up the chunk loader and boom, 844. Nice. So we're using the portal loader mechanic where it has a it has a three by three area which is NT loaded, a five by five area which is redstone loaded, and a seven by seven area which is lazy chunks. And those the all those shulkers are sitting inside of one of the lazy chunks. And so we can have an eight hundred and forty four mob cap. And if I do such tick entities. They don't even show up. Minecraft Shulker in the Everworld, 910. Yeah, they don't even show up on the list of top 10. Because they contribute like less than 0.1 MSPT. And I think um, Solly made the same setup for Hell Switch. Um, it's just in the nether. But he made it like absolutely miles away like so far away that we can't use it couldn't possibly use a chunk loader for it <laughs> yeah so so is a bit over cautious these things yeah let's wait uh wait at last for an obsidian front yeah let's wheel it in 13k blocks away from oh yeah yeah so we are now finished with all the auto crafting things i think um, there are... That was really cool to be honest. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for showing that. No worries. I finally see all the projects that <laughs> the screenshots are on Discord. <laughs> yeah. We also have like an obsidian farm and a mushroom farm here. Yeah, we can see that. The mushroom yeah, farm. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that closer yeah. than I wanted today. <laughs> Inside I thought I like, yeah, caught a, that, like, a glimpse of it from uh, Mango's stream. Last yeah, I think I, al I also uh, saw the Obsidian Farm Mango's video, right? No, we didn't yeah, cover the Obsidian Farm. No, Too far away. It's quite okay. far away. But it's really I beautiful. I've got to go see you guys. Okay, bye. See bye. you. See you, Scott. Hmm. See, this was real, really early in the server, like three months or so. And also one of the biggest farms we have here. <laughs> Wasn't this the fastest mushroom farm in the world at one stage? Yeah, it's kind of. Although I guess it doesn't really count because it's skyblock. Yeah. Wait, is player collisions cancelled? And Inside scaffolding, I guess. Oh! It's the same as vines. Or ladders, I guess. That makes sense. So this runs on a 400 green ticks block. Yeah, the With guardian farm is like right over there. Yeah, you can see it from here. We use a portal cache. Uh, we don't know <laughs> with Carpe Diem. 
Yeah, this was built in 114. That's the why the portal casting is still on it. Yeah, but you don't need it anymore in 1.15. They fixed portals. Yeah, they used... They fixed 15, right? It's, or... Yeah, in 15. Portals now lists um, the, what the um, locations that they're linked to instead of searching every single time. Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> I think they actually still search, right? But it, um, they just search yeah. way more efficient. They just search for portal yeah. blocks. Or it does. Yeah, they, they remember the portal blocks. Yeah, they, they don't... I think previously they would search the entire area. Yep. Um, um, make a list of every portal in the area and then link to the closest one. And I think now they just... Have to look um, directly. Yeah, just go directly to whatever is a portal block. I think we have like uh, five years worth of of yeah, stake on the server. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. we really don't need to run this farm. It's like with the um the dirt factory. We made this impressive this really impressive farm, ran it for like two seconds and then we have all the materials we ever need forever. Thank you. Yeah, let me let also, <laughs> we have the joke here with the shirky box loader using concrete powder as a block. Wait, why can't you use concrete powder? Wait, wait, wall? wait, wait. I, I have a big question to ask. What do you guys think about feeding the dragon eggs? <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? Yeah. Mm. Well, sadly, they don't have a use anymore, so... Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Couldn't care less about how you get more. <laughs> but careful break, that's something I would like to have here. But that would be a good use for the steak. Yeah. yeah what are you gonna use the dragon eggs for? <laughs> Randomizers? <laughs> for for your storage alignment system. <laughs> what, what, is that, what is that one single um, sea lantern down on that one spawning space? Oh, I on could that... imagine that's on the edge Oops. of the biome or something. No, it's like in the middle of a spawning platform. <laughs> yeah, out okay. there. Hmm. Ask I best blocks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Microbiomes. Wait, what? There's concrete powder here just floating. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. With redstone with redstone components yeah. on top of it. Wait, 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 the babies they fly. Yeah, don't and touch this it. farm was built in one point fourteen, so babies just didn't exist. Punch below it and uh, they will fall down. Yeah, I've done it <laughs> once. Somebody <laughs> holding an egg in the freaking item collection system. Oh my god, the babies! Poor babies! Oh my god, no! <laughs> no, no, Jeff! Yeah. Morting, what have you done before you... We didn't kill babies, now we do. Exactly. Ah, <laughs> uh, using concrete powder as a construction block. Yeah, it's actually really cool. <laughs> It's it's just floating there. Why Have does it not what? update though? No, it's yeah. a string. There are strings, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, the string underneath it. <laughs> yeah, I once well, broke all the strings okay. here, so I once have to rebuild this. I mean, okay, this this would be easy to do with the pistons, right? Wouldn't need an actual yeah. update suppressor for it. Yeah, but then you couldn't use it, right? Just red yeah, red zone would update. Would update. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, exactly. People in chat are saying war crimes in Skyblock. <laughs> Killing yeah. babies. <laughs> yeah, 
We will yeah, do Martin, it in the next I farm. Right hand because I have a new Minecraft instance for one thing. I haven't changed it yet. It's not a war if the opposition's not fighting back. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes it more cruel, though. In 1.16, we can add some dispenser with shears, so we also can get mushrooms. Oh yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> You're gonna fit it here when they're falling down. Would that be possible? Yeah, in the bottom part. Some of the babies actually shoot out at the back of the uh, um, boat. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. Yeah, that's how they surprise the portal. <laughs> but um, I mean, we have food. <laughs> we don't really need. This Bye, farm apparently guy. has a um a zombie egg inspector. <laughs> well, is, is he assessing the eggs produced by the chickens in the boats at the top? Yep. Oh, <laughs> I'm cheating again, I see. Yeah, the, the cheaty enderpearls. Yeah. yeah, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually wanted to go down there, but hey, I'll take this. This is this is really beautiful. All those cows. So Wait, <laughs> since when could you hold jump to go up ladders? It's a cow. Oh, right, it's can, I think. No. No, I'm using um, vanilla client, and I can. And then I don't. Uh, I, I think I changed it to 15 snapshots. Okay. But, but like with the thing where you press jump and you fell down. Yeah. I guess people didn't know that and died from that a lot, so they changed it. Okay. It's actually quite cool, so you can actually go up ladders even though you're not hanging right on them. Yeah, yeah that's right, you can turn around. It's also kind of annoying that you can't use your elytra to glide down anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that makes... <laughs> Ladders are so dangerous though. I hate like, lighters and ladders. Yeah, it's dangerous, but it makes them faster going down. Yeah, it's like the true, only true. way I ever went down ladders in Psycraft. Using the elytra, just falling down. <laughs> it, it's so annoying because I'm um, playing... Because I play nothing but Skyblock, essentially. Um... My first time using an Elytra was like only a few weeks ago. <laughs> Survival. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm still having so problems much with good. it. <laughs> you're missing so much. But it's it, it's so fitting to have an Elytra when you're playing Skyblock so you can uh, progress towards it. It's just you guys have decided not to use them and it makes it so challenging. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Oh no, I'm falling into the void, let me fly out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it basically Amazing. removes like the, the, the one major drawback of Skyblock, which is the void. What should we look? I think I died once when I was... Obsidian fire. And... You could, you could add... Yeah. You so could add elytras, but no rocket boosting. And no just arrow boosting. Gliding. Are yeah, just gliding. Okay. So if you fall, you can have a slow fall to the void. <laughs> Even more cruel. Yeah, but that'll be annoying. Return because, off like, the punch bars, I guess. Just just recently, I found a, a, a neat design for making a one wide tileable rocket factory. Want to get it? Oh, nice. This is a long ride. Is the obsidian farm now? Yes. Yep. Oh, I'm cubic. I'm back now. Yes. We need to overtake oh, the uh, How do I get to the obsidian farm? Um, take the ice road um, to the left of the gold farm. The the green one with the stairs. The first, I think it's the first. No, it's the second. Oh, there are light glitches okay. here, so frosted ice melted or what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, A rip. Randomly, there's light all of a sudden, like yeah. in this. 
Is there any light sources, or is there just uh, light? blue eyes emits light? I think. No, I, I worked. Oh. Um, actually, Solly explained uh, it to me very well. What happens is in in the skyblock terrain generation, it will actually generate the terrain and then remove it. Ah, so what will happen is in, I guess, or lava. yeah, in the in the Nether, you have light sources like glowstone and lava, which briefly generate and then get removed, but in unloaded chunks. And so it doesn't update the lighting engine. So, yeah, okay. You need to uh, take the copperstone. Ice rot. Is the wither, wither rose farm working? Um, nobody knows. Nobody has been there for. Never, yeah, nobody has been there. Yeah. It's a bit spooky because it's, it's like got a system on it that like you have to do a specific procedure, otherwise it breaks. Not even Mango remembers. <laughs> Yeah. I told him, but hey. <laughs> Thanks. Sometimes you need cobblestone. So we get the Prismarine and uh... XCOM. Yes. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, these banners are these the banners that you can place on the map? Yes. Uh, yeah. No, we changed the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Where, they... Where's Masa makes with her great mods? Yeah, he died. That one, that one that died. Don't, don't you remember? <laughs> the one oh, that escaped. Oh my and god. Why is everything broken? <laughs> why is everything oh, broken? No! It got out! <laughs> oh my god. What happened? <laughs> the one has got it out! Oh no! Oh no, the video got out. <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's just turn around. The wither is loose no, there? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> She's behind the house. <laughs> Just get out of here. Nothing yeah. to see. Nothing yeah. to see. I I thought thought it's supposed to Close be your eyes, guys. Building. Oh of, my oh, god. Let's get out of here. The, every, we just we just accidentally took the, the, the long left turn instead of right turn. Oh. Let's go to the right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the wrong obsidian farm. Mm -hmm. We have just fixed this farm. <laughs> you just fixed it all. Yeah, man. because it yeah, got out before. <laughs> Okay, so this this setup was supposed to be reload safe, but <laughs> yeah. uh, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, we, we yeah. What did I do? We Apparently, came not as good thought, as that. Oh, was someone like... built a nice sandstone ruin there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, look, it even has wither faces on the chisel sandstone. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look, there's a real wither. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah, god, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, all this way for nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we should heal Okay. <laughs> Ninja. Oops. Oh no. Oh, Joe. Guy, you picked up my oh, shot. No. Oh no, Helga. So, where did we go? Oops, again. <laughs> Just back. <laughs> oh. Take, take a right and then. Um, yeah, you have to go to, to the right. right Someone jump in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a wither perfectly but. aligned maybe let's see <laughs> i found that doesn't use with okay so we had to fix the obsidian farm again again yeah but <laughs> now <laughs> now we know how we have to, to do it. the tree farm again we have to probably fix the gas farm again unless it was already done yeah no nobody's fixed it but i think the flower farm is working <laughs> but it's not that <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't easily break, let's say no. that much. <laughs> no. Oh no, the flowers exploded. <laughs> 360. No, you waste all our kinetic energy. Yeah. We'll never catch up now. <laughs> so much for the 40 yeah. meters per second. We are using mini hats for that. I have to try again. Perfect 360. How did you guys go down? Cheater. Oh, yeah, there is this trick you can do with the sneaking. And crawling. Yeah, th th I think someone invented that the first few. Like sneaking. Yeah, the, uh, um, boat. Like a trapdoor, if you close it on top of you, you go into the like sneak animation. Yeah, you can crawl that's down to Y0. That's how people did it. Someone stole my bow when I died first. <laughs> yeah, but that's it, I think, for what we had planned for you for today. Thank you. It was a nice tool, thank you. Thank you so much. This was impressive to me. Oh, yeah. yeah really I nice really to like, have you. I really like the farms that especially only work on this server, that were made just for this server. Really enjoyed trying to understand them. Yeah, maybe we have a bucket list for in going, but I don't know when we will do it. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the art, not the art right? farm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, I'm too. being lazy and not implementing that feature. Yeah. It was a really great world. Like, I, I never seen, like, the auto crafters in full, uh, full like, effort. Like, we, we enabled it on... Uh, I caught the server, but people were like, we should only use them in limited fashion, but you can do so, so many cool things to do with, with them. Yeah, people still ask how many members. I think there is like all the patrons, right? I mean, they, they yeah. all can play yeah. here, but how many ac active I mean, is it? Um, I think there's like five, five people who are active normally. At any given time? Yes, at least few yeah, so months. Mm. We're, all, we're all fairly spread out over different time zones. Yeah, autocrafting makes the game a lot more factorial like. But like, like not not in the sense that like Factorio is like spe specifically designed for like progression. Like you have to do this to do this and everything's sort of just handed to you. Like, this is the way you have to do things, but autocrafting is just that there's so much variety in how to do things. Like, if you want to craft concrete, you can use synchronous dropper systems, or you can use a cyclical system. Just crazy, the variation you can get. Theoretically, 94 members should be whitelisted on here. Yeah. <laughs> just check the Discord for all the patrons, all the members. And sometimes people just come and log in once and look at the farms and... Yeah, 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 of course, was, 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 and... was just theoretical numbers. Yeah. Theoretically, 90 people could play on here. <laughs> but unfortunately, 90 people aren't that technically at. That just wouldn't be possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also counted all the members that probably never logged onto here. Mm. Yeah, there's also 266 people whitelisted on the server. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Thank you so much for showing this. Really glad that you guys actually put some time efforts to, <laughs> uh, to, to. Sorry, time aside. Yeah, I hope we can yeah. convince some of your some of your Hikate members that it's not so <laughs> cheesy. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. The only Hikata members that I hear like like the features. It's all the other ones you gotta convince. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's... I think we need to we need to get the Hikata members that don't like auto crafting 
and uh, force them to come come on the tour, like <laughs> watch the tour or something. And then tell them this is how cool you, cool of a stuff you can make. But I think most people go like, well, if auto crafting is enabled, then what do, what else can you do in this game? Because it's gonna take away from the crafting and just enjoying like crafting. You can stuff. still mine. It's Minecraft. Yeah. 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 Let's build a quarry. Yeah. It's quarry so it's, auto craft. Yeah. So it's just. We have to make yeah, an yeah. overworld perimeter. It's just Java edition. <laughs> <laughs> we need like oh, yeah, auto and chapter. Oh, yeah, Java edition now. Which game are you playing? Java edition. I'm playing 1.15.2. At least that's what it says in top left. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait until 1.16 comes out because there's a whole heap of um, new interesting recipes to try and work out how to do. Oh, right, the new stuff. Oh, you will need to build a lot of update suppressors for all the 116 other farms. I know yeah. anything of the like, newer updates. Yeah, we're almost adding it to Hammer. Yeah. They're not yeah. quite adding it fast enough to get me involved. <laughs> <laughs> What does almost adding mean? We have a rotation. We are uh, like seven up boats and seven down boats. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. All right, the only, uh, forget. The only yeah, reason that I'm not playing on the, on there regularly is because they haven't got auto crafting yet. Let me put all of my stuff here in this chest. There we go. All my stuff is in there. Okay. I didn't have enough room. The pearls. Yeah, it's really t uh, tidy. Everything is like neatly signed. Everything like looks so perfect. So if someone comes along and they don't know how, what to do, like on a regular server, uh, people join and they, they don't have a clue where to go, how how to get there and stuff. But the whole this map that you guys had here, it's just really tidy. And where is this map? Yeah, it's in your yeah, storage. Been doing all that. It's but the, you might have noticed we have maps in another. Yeah, the, the yeah. first map I did was just with the banners, but and then yeah, Good. Sky added uh, this another. No better of there's no sense in it. Yeah, makes why do we, sense why do we actually. Like maps in another, it's just. <laughs> I feel this server needs. That's actually something they could add to 116 that you can somehow get nether maps. Yeah. I don't know how exactly it they it. would implement it neatly, but so you can actually see stuff on it. But that would be something that 116 could bring since they update the whole nether and everything. Well, you not. Able to make maps in the nether because they'll just map the the um the bedrock roof. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you could, for example, implement it that it that, that the height you actually activate it, uh, basically get a slice through the world at the height you activate it or yeah. whatnot. Yeah, like something like this. Box and map or something. Yeah, but then people could use it to find caves. Yeah, and stuff I guess. Essentially, X-ray through the ground. Yeah, I guess. Like you could probably you could probably tell the difference between netherite scrap and um or ancient debris yeah, and netherrack on the map. True. Yeah, I don't know. Even if you can X ray it's not the anything that's the below or like directly connected to bedrock or something. Yeah. All those and then you know, basically starting from the first air block. Yeah, I think that's how a uh, voxel map does something. it, right? Basically, just to remove the bedrock ceiling and everything. It would still give you some, some fake holes, right? Yep. Um, but okay, then the map would just look a bit dirty or whatever. Yeah, or you could just not display any netherrack or uh, bedrock, something like this. So only the actual cool stuff that you build in there shows. Or maybe it it only um generates blocks on the map that you have line of sight to. Uh, I mean, there, there are probably different ways and all have their advantages and disadvantages. Oh, 
is there do you guys know about the rumors about update suppression being uh, uh like uh, on the on the chopping board Ooh. Um, yeah. i haven't heard of that really is it possible they might remove it in 16 too don't think they'll put in that much effort i mean uh, that's the worst thing is like uh after looking at the code uh, most of us thought it wasn't possible but apparently it's very so they, they, if they put like a little bit of thought behind it, it might be gone. Uh, sadly. Yeah, sure, it's fixable. Hmm. Then we have Minecraft to hurry <laughs> building those farms that need it. Yeah, let's hope they don't touch it. I mean, a portal-based gas farm doesn't ne wouldn't necessarily need to be update suppressed, or you wouldn't necessarily need to slice the portals because the portal frames only contribute a small amount of the um, height map. Yeah. Yeah, and to but... be honest, like all of the farms we have don't really need the update suppression that much. It just oh. makes them more efficient. Well, I want it on my rapid farm. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to see it. Is it built? Or no, we no, we're still oh. designing it. It will probably I mean, make a video in a few days. It's a new okay. design. I mean, now that we have the overworld mob switch, we yeah, can we actually can... get building it. Yeah. Stop killing cute rabbits. <laughs> so much fun. Well, if you still want to realize it, you just have to build it more rapidly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I do that. You don't kill the rabbits, you actually make more rabbits. Isn't that nice? And then you kill them, but hey! <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Hey, you give them places to spawn and live and mm. go through a portal and uh, uh. Well, what happens on the other side we don't talk about. Yeah. But rabbits. If you, the rabbits aren't cute if if they I were the, ten the feet tall. Always plays at least uh, zero, yeah, eight people. Right? So <laughs> yeah, in some sense you never reduce the population. We just send them to rabbits, a better place. Too many rabbits is not good. The nettle. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. they were never seen again. You guys have any dragon eggs, by the way? And they're... then they're smart enough to pathfind away from the portal and into. Well, I honestly don't know where the dragon egg is. Just... Dragon eggs. Jorge, are, do we have My, I mean, eggs? all you are doing is getting more right. rabbits. You Dragonics. can't really do anything against them jumping or yeah, killing yeah. themselves. So we I mean, said that the um, dragon egg is probably somewhere in the old storage. Let's go to mm, we, we, we can check. Yeah, we, we haven't destroyed the egg. Thank you for the follow. Oh, we, we didn't, we didn't check the. Uh, imagine, egg imagine egg. having bedrock that you need to actually break for using dragon eggs. We can <laughs> check the, we can check the the trolling hole. The, the wolf farm. Where's old storage? This is old You're storage. Here. It, I, think. I think there's nothing in there. Uh, in the redstone chest, there are some chunk here. Mm. The new one is so much No, I don't want to risk here. This, this place is so many. <laughs> I know it's terrible. Oh, is this the old storage system? Yeah, this yes. is it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, this is beautiful. I love the storage system. <laughs> <laughs> the, new, the new one is so much better. XCOM, this looks like the uh, high pixel storage. <laughs> yeah. This looks like one of those. Uh, but it's so beautiful for a starter storage system. And there yeah, is like sorting and everything. According to Sully, the Legend of the Dragon Egg um, currently rests here. There's the best farm in here. The sea pickle farm. The pickle. Wait, 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 wait. Is it here? <laughs> yeah, if you come farm. out, uh, what is that, west side? Okay. You can see a pickle farm. I didn't know we had a pickle farm. We had a beagle farm? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, we, we have tons of pickles in main storage, so they would have had to come from somewhere. I don't even know how they work. It's the pickler. How do you do with this uh, colored signs in the, in survival mode? You we take die and you right click on it. Yeah. Oh, well, I see. This is a vanilla feature in 115. Uh, one, one. 13 or 114, I think. I think, yeah, 114 Although probably. I have no 14. idea how this works. <laughs> I think it just was working. <laughs> One of the dispensers is missing. 
Somebody nicked a dispenser, like, uh, coming from the crafting uh, one. Do we need to fix <laughs> it from this here. farm also? Yeah. Wow. Oh, what is this here? A fish farm? No. Not sure. This is a pickle farm. No, the one next to it. Okay. Look, I found my ring again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the dragon egg is not here. <laughs> what? what is it? We have multiple here? already. I think Mango duped it right when you got it. Sky, go uh, use NPT Explorer in this world and find, <laughs> find out who has it. Turtles! <laughs> yeah. Are you, turtles yeah. Are... The turtles. I could imagine that Mango has it in his ender chest or something to keep it safe, I guess. What? Keep, <laughs> keep it safe so we can't exploit it for the. But to no, make diamonds. I mean, I'm pretty sure he duped it right away, but I could imagine that he keeps at least one. Isn't it? So, imagine someone coming on. Hey, look, there's dragon eggs. Let me destroy them. Oh, rip. It turns out the <laughs> dragon eggs, you can make elytras from them. How about <laughs> renewable clay? Do you guys have the drowned drops? Oh, renewable clay. A renewable clay you get from a gift farm. Yeah, we yeah. can make one of those. Um, we haven't you really have needed it, because we get all our ter terracotta from um, villages. Yeah, you can just trade directly for the colored terracotta. Uh, I'm, I'm not really following the trade mechanics. It's when you're uh, saving no. the village from raids, they give you like a, a run. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just hey, don't you, throw you... When you uh, defeat a raid, raid. You, get, you get the um, hero of the village status effect last for like 20 minutes and nearby villagers will throw random items at you depending on their profession so i believe it's stonemasons will throw clay at you like clay blocks yep. i see and yeah we the have uh... relocations what <laughs> We have a tiny turtle yeah. farm here. Apparently there are three sugar salt or so what? What's that here? It's my ring. Your ring? Oh, is that the spawn it's... ring? Yeah, it's the spawn ring. It's the other spawn ring. Like there was, at the beginning, there was way too much stuff put in the spawn chunks. Yeah. Notice that. <laughs> and then also we had a lot of... Uh, problem because at the start we thought the spawn like the spawn chunk changed the 1.14 and stuff, so we had problems with the with our iron farm filling up the passive mob cap. Oh, uh, because it was constantly loaded by the spawn chunk. Yeah. There was the dragon egg. What? Ah, oh, yeah, so yeah here's the dragon egg. I found, found it. it. Wait, you found it? Where? Completely missed it. It's in the uh, it's at the display of the old uh, storage here. Ha ha ha! Oh wait, this is not silk touch. Oh shit! Rip. It where? Also, it's still here. Oh, it's right. so you're breaking the old storage. No, no, no. Still Anyone have a piston? Things. Let me right click it. Where is no, it? No, don't right click it. Just break it, I think you know how to do it. Yeah, just fill the... what is it, 16 by 16 around? Yeah, it's totally possible advice you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where did you guys put it? I wanna see this dragon egg. Over here. Is this right here? Oh. Yeah. No, where are the pistons? Yeah, here, here, behind you. Behind? It's sitting here right under our noses. Oh my god! It's beautiful! The, the legend of the dragon egg on Skyblock. <laughs> and now I will drop it live on stream into the world epic. We found the only <laughs> dragon egg on the entire server. Yes! Yeah, as I said, I'm not sure it's the only Who one. Got it? Now it's gonna explore everything. <laughs> Where is it? Now feed it! Feed it. Who got... Who actually got, got it, it now? Got oh, it's, it's underneath. It's underneath the chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get out of the way, I'm trying to break the chest. Got it! <laughs> I'm on! Yes. Later, oh. bitches! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Wow. Right, we, need to take that, we need to take that to main storage. Yeah, yeah, let's go over. Wow. So, leave it somewhere. We stole the drug. Um, leave it somewhere in main storage so it can be discovered later on when we have okay. our freaking. 
Sh quantum out. singularity Shout out to in the Tim Stario 03 okay. in my Twitch that, that actually said that there to was main a story to I was see looking the way. right at it, but I haven't really re realized it. Yeah, we'll, we'll expect it to be like in one of the chests, but like not actually part of the display. Ghetto turtle farm. Yeah, I was looking, I think I was looking in the chest right above, but I don't know, I just haven't realized. <laughs> yeah, did you know Woke that if turtles are killed, killed by lightning, they drop a bowl? So there's an yeah, idea yeah, for oh. a new farm. Yeah, a bowl, bowl farm. farm. <laughs> lightning Orange. bowl but, well, farm. What was this like crazy that? idea? Well, why, not, why? Like yeah. not like we could craft 18,000 bowls per hour using the auto crafter. Yeah, when I read about this lightning thing, I just immediately thought of XCOM. Yeah. New idea for a farm. <laughs> yeah, said that there's no RNG anymore. Yeah, no RNG. <laughs> Wait, I how think did they wasn't fix RNG? They just did accident. Yeah. yeah. It was <laughs> every single thing. It was already fixed when it was discovered, basically. Yeah. Once they it fixed so many bugs out. by accident, it's just unimaginable. It's ridiculous. Okay, should we quickly dupe it? Is there a donkey around? <laughs> no, like, oh, right, that donkey. Um, I'm thinking, do we have a donkey? It could. Did they fix the donkey duping? Um, yeah. Yes. In yeah. What, last last day, last what? What is left then? Nothing. What? Seriously? There's, there's a discovery left. No duped. <laughs> you can just dis discover a new one if you want. <laughs> I mean, we could we could try duping using Tuno's middle talent that he's add on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think it's going to be difficult. I mean, it's yeah, really I've already tried a few times. The issue is that the um he's introduced a, a, some check which removes duped items from your inventory. I think I know maybe possibly a way, but I, it's still untested using end gateways. But I think they fixed that. Maybe we, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. In fifteen two, I'm donkeys sure should work. The, um, the gravity block duping method. Uh, gravity okay. block. Do we, do we have a donkey or something around? No, I don't think we, think we have one, uh, yeah, but... Yeah, it... I don't think it would work anyway. May, maybe a llama or so? There are llamas at the there old hub. There used to be a lot of donkeys at spawn, but oh, I don't my. know where they disappeared. <laughs> There's llamas uh, in another Max, hub. Come, what are you holding okay, back? <laughs> llamas, I guess. No, I mean, my inventory is all empty. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I know that... That um, looks like a turtle head. The death um, animation duping doesn't work anymore. Honestly, just saying there's nine dragon eggs in the sorters in main storage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Mm. Yeah, there's nine dragon eggs in the sorters. I pulled up the schematic to find out which chest it should go in, and the item frame doesn't have an item in it. Regu, could okay. you quickly time out that guy in Twitch chat? You did that before so well, but doing that on iPad is insanely. Annoying. <laughs> oh no. Thank you. Wait, so there's been dragon eggs in main storage this whole time. Yeah, just <laughs> not in the chest and not in the display. Yeah, I, I don't think, I, yeah. I went through all of this section, I think. So I have no idea what it is. Hey, I guess yeah, then. In the display, in this order. Did you find where it was? It, I found him. It's... Which is, is, it? is this the water transportation? The below? Yeah. Um, the idea was to have dolphins, I think. Um, Sky, where is the dragon egg? Uh, yep. Oh, you put one in, okay. So oh. that's where they're supposed to be. That's where they're supposed to be. That's where they get in if you have more than 40 or something. And they we have nine, so yeah. Oh. We'll have ten. Oh no, somebody took it. Yeah. Oh, have got, got an achievement for it. Oh yeah, I didn't oh, yeah. get one. I already had it before. <laughs> Mouse when we placed them. It's cool that you guys have at least dragon eggs. But it's a shame that you can't break anything with them.
Uh, <laughs> we don't have to. Yet, right? <laughs> Panic. We have some rockets too. Yeah, you're I thinking? think the problem is that the dolphins don't really work in a one by one or something. Okay. Yeah, they don't work in a one by one tunnel. Oh, okay. But I thought I it was something uh, because of ocean biome or something like that. I mean, literally, I don't see why you couldn't just flood your entire main storage and don't do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's item it's frames, actually, water, actually, yeah. It's actually, actually item really... frames survive in water. Oh, I yeah. okay. That. <laughs> it's a really good idea to actually flood your whole storage and just have... It's actually a viable way to yeah, quickly get around. Because you can make yeah. it bigger. The problem is that you can't have those buttons and stuff here. Yeah. That's yeah. the only downside. But you yeah, can just but you, for example, can use, uh, I don't know, note block and observer or stuff exactly. like that. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And I did. Yeah, let's fire make around. another storage. <laughs> yes. I'm, not, I'm not sure who, who it was, but I talked to someone who uh, at least had the plan to flood his whole main storage. Why? <laughs> Flying is not enabled on the server. Yeah, because if you do jump, and you yeah, can... I know how it works, but I think it's... I what are you doing? <laughs> was waiting too long. Jumping, we're, all, we're, we're, we're using do... cheater. If you're using uh, that cheater, ah. mechanic, uh, can you go into it just as you're falling to break your break fall damage? No, you can't. You can. You yeah, still take a lot of damage. <laughs> I have no idea room. what you're doing. What in Twitter we? The free cam. You just activate free cam, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have like three buttons for it. <laughs> and at some point you always get kicked. And every time I go into the uh, options menu, the black tie looks like a wig, like bald man's wig. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so weird. I think it looks like a mustache. But thank you so much for showing this, uh, all this stuff. I'll grab the, I'll drag stream to over to Hakata and continue building some something over there. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Yeah, for oh, my yeah, stream, I will stop the stream now sure. because I probably need some breakfast now. Yeah. At what is it? Four. PM. <laughs> yeah. Same. Yeah, I haven't even lunch yet. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm I might stream to... later again. Wait, is it night time yet? Damn it. <laughs> we okay. ready to do this challenge. The the five five yeah, sleep it's... at once challenge. Today's it's actually like my last day for you. My last free day from of quarantine. Yeah. Tomorrow lecture start. Oh no. Yeah, we have them. <laughs> we have it till nine May. Okay. Yeah. Lectures via Zoom. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, exactly. Lectures <laughs> over the internet. Especially since I'm pretty sure two of my professors haven't even written anything. So I'm not sure what program they want to use or whatever. And I'm pretty sure they are not even capable of starting a computer. Um, so no, I have no idea how he managed to write uh, his thesis or anything. <laughs> It's, it's insane. Typewriter. So I'm gonna end no my idea, stream probably. now. He's a paper technology uh, professor, thank so you I all could for actually imagine watching. him using a typewriter. See you oh, later. Did, did you see the best feature of the storage here? Um, uh -huh. Oh yes. Bye bye. Good door.